Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. It is the midweek podcast, and the intellects are truly gonna. We're gonna have to make our mark today. Yeah. We're back on the couch. Season 24 25 is underway. We had the Super Cup in Germany, we had draws galore in Syria, we had entertaining game in Legun, and everything else in between. Everything else, <laughs> everything everything else in between. Else, yeah. That's the basic summary. It, it is good to have football back. It was a lot to keep on track <laughs> of. Um, to the extent I was still watching some mini matches back last night just yeah. to make sure I got yeah. every single bit of last information night, down. Last night I was going on the way here, still watching <laughs> mini matches. <laughs> There's you know? so much to cover off. Um, we're slandering teams, we're promoting teams, <laughs> um, we're congratulating teams, <laughs> and we're grading teams. That's basically yeah, today's good. episode yeah, yeah, yeah. in a nutshell. Um, I, I don't want to. I want to go straight to it and start at the top. We're gonna go hard straight away. Real Madrid. Fraud watch. Watch that away. We need we need a board and put like four. You should do one of them like Goldbridge like crisis <laughs> videos when City Real draw Madrid over. Yeah, <laughs> uh, Madrid in crisis. And what's <laughs> Yeah. It, um, okay, it was it, it, it was bound to happen at some point this year. Mm. I think it's a classic Real happen match day one. So they know what they're gonna deal yeah. with. They're gonna come that next game. Now I don't know who they've got, but whoever they've got, I feel sorry for that club because they're gonna come out. Yeah, I don't all know, guns I don't blazing. Know. If it's some like I don't I don't think it's great a great team to be honest. So we did we did expect this at some point though, right? Like we oh yeah we knew yeah. it wasn't going to be. And to be fair, Mallorca perfect. for the first ten minutes were very good. They dominated, and then yeah, after very, after very that, good. from about the tenth till probably when Mallorca scored the equaliser, Madrid were the better side. Mm. But um, yeah, Mallorca had big chances to to nick it at the end there. They could have won it at the end, but... They had two on the counter. Probably a draw's a fair result, I'd say. Would you say? Oh, oh, I, 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 I tell you what, they could have need to win. Yeah, they could have. They could have. Real looked... I think <clears> someone <throat> analysed this. They have Mbappe, Vinny and Rodrigo all on the half of line ready to counter-attack. Mm. So they looked a million bucks on the counter. I think... Look, Easily, Real could have scored three on the counter. Oh, well. easy, they did really yeah. well on the counter. Almost overpassing, a bit of city about it, just overdoing yeah. it. Was like, just someone just have a ping, have a shot. Mm. Um, but equally so, there's no one back defending. The, the balance of the team is yeah. so, so off. Like, And I, I, see, I said it in on the Friday, the weekend, which I was like, <clears throat> they all could have been a tough team to beat. Mm. We, we've seen that across last season. They got to the um, uh, Copa del España yeah, final. Yeah, yeah. Um, Tough team, at, you know, at, at their home ground to play against as well, and it's probably just a perfect storm. Yeah, they came ready to go. Of, yeah. We are looked imbalanced. I think my, my rogue shout early on, straight away off the, oh. off the bat. I think you might have to go with only two up top if you're going to play yeah, the way all they play, all of them played. I think you need some more midfield security, yeah, balance, and play almost like a diamond in there because it looked. So hollow a midfield, like it just looked like it was basketball yeah. game at the end of the game, end to yeah. end to end. So I'll just let that settle there. Yeah, <laughs> no, no, no. I, it's I I agree in in some aspect. Obviously, it's the first game. I it's think you shaking. can't change sort of straight away. I no. think Rodrigo's done too much in the past for him. He would be the one you would drop, right? <laughs> I'm a big Ooh, fan of Rodrigo. I know you're a big fan, I'm but really like, you, I don't I mean, know. Oh, Mbappe's I, arguably the best player in the world. I know, and Vinny's a probably. I you just know, 50, trust 50 him, Ballon d'Or. Rodrigo, we've seen them so many yeah, times I operate. Mm, I know. I'm not, here's me saying straight on the first four minutes of podcast, I'll drop him back, <laughs> but I just think until they sort of sort it out, I'd rather Rodrigo and Vinny up top and just yeah. go with that. Mm. Obviously, um, Camavinga having that knee or leg yeah, injury, that was, that's a big loss. That looked bad. I don't think he's out for two. And it looked awful oh, in the yeah, footage, but yeah. I think he should... Two or three months, but it's real. He yeah. might not appear into the Champions League final and come back and <laughs> yeah. score a winner. I mean, That's they right. missed how many players last year and they were fine. So. That, that was the obviously kicking a kick, yeah. right? That oh, was. yeah. But that's why I didn't have Mallorca going down because they just... Oh, they're good. Their fans were going mental as well. Like, like, it it's a tough atmosphere, atmosphere yeah. to yeah. play in. Um, and they played really good football. They just lacked that, that end product at the end, so... If that's a sign of things to come, I think maybe Mallorca could be a bit of a surprise... Oh, absolutely. Maybe, absolutely. So. Um, 87th minute, Molanas. <coughs> uh, Sanchez in the 89th minute, both put efforts wide and high of the goal. That would be the biggest chances for yeah. Mallorca. They obviously had a few through uh, Mariki before he scored that goal, mm. early in the first half as well. Good finish from Rodrigo to score uh, Real's opener. I think Mbappe had a header, which he just sort of missed. Yeah. He like headed the air almost. Mbappe right the wasn't, it, it wasn't the, the debut anyone was sort of hoping no, for from him. A little bit he, off. 
It was a bit off, which can happen. But even like I thought he was pretty selfish sometimes. Like there was there was one in the first half oh. where I think Rodrigo was on the halfway line. He got past one player instead of playing a three ball, he just kept on running with mm. it, and all the defenders got back. I think there was one in the second half where he got played through. He was on his left, left foot, foot, yeah. And instead of cutting it, he hits yeah, it, and the keeper saves it. Yeah. And it's like, okay, Come like on. he's used yeah. to being the guy. But yeah. You got like, you got <laughs> world class players in every spot. You don't yeah. need. You can just. You know, and and he was he was gonna be a bit of a, a bit of a sort of early shout. He was gonna be my player most at stake oh, for the league because <laughs> because of his reputation. Yep. How it could oh, I was so, so close. Close. I was gonna put him. I was like, oh, I can't. It's it, it, I, oh, I, I'm I, still, I still wish I did. Do yeah, that. I, I, I was do that. very much considering still gonna put him, but nah, just just because it like being this selfish. Like, it could ruin his it's, reputation a bit. It's not Gonzalo Ramos, it's not Usman Dembele. It's Vinny, who's, yeah. for me, my Ballon d'Or winner. And Probably, then you've got yeah. Rodrigo, who, in terms of big games, yeah. he's the dude. Like, Champions League big games, he's the dude. Yeah, he's been incredible. So, yeah, you got to... I think it was Rodrigo who was coming back, actually, for that cup, that left-footed shot, really. That turned me off, that one there. Yeah. I was like, mm, that's like Even the, the one in, like... The first, like it's the first ten minutes, and you're not playing that ball like yeah. that's. And then you've got everyone else overpassing it because a few times I was just like Vinny was like Vinny, just shoot, man, yeah. like, back yourself. That's what mm-hmm. I hope that this doesn't take away from Vinny because then I I, uh, I love watching Vinny play. Yeah, like, he's he can't change. Into the Champions League when I get to watch full games of Real play, I just sit there in awe of watching Vinny. Like, I remember that Bayern that Bayern double leg that was just ridiculous. Oh, yeah. That was just that was one incredible. man is going to win this game for this club, and it was, was going to be Vinny. Mm. And it just like he's passing his balls off, he's wrong, he's doing back heels and looks awesome. He's he's helping his teammates. I'm like, for me, you're still the man. Like this, yeah. you're the number seven on your back. This is like your team. Mm. Take the shot, take the opportunity. Yeah. I even heard Bellingham in the the tunnel post game. I don't know if you saw that, he said, shoot the ball because yeah. it's too hard for us to keep tracking yeah. back. And like that's Bellingham. I mean, the, the the quick movement and like the the ball speed. It looked really good mm. at times, but. One time, what well, like one time, one pass over did it, and it just ruins the entire thing. Mm. So. Again, it's just about finding that balance, which yes, balance maybe about dropping one of one of the forwards. I but I think the Don will stick with it. He, you know, well, if any guy can fix this, it's the Don. It's the Don, or it's Pep. Pep, yeah, that's it. Yep. And I tell you, what, if the Don can, if this develops into a little bit of a bigger thing over five mm-hmm. weeks, and the Don can fix it, and they can still win all these trophies, that might be the seal of approval. That might say, yeah, him and Pep are basically one A, one B. Yeah, because we haven't. He's had big players. But oh, we haven't seen like had, Galacticos yes, like this. this. Is, yeah, this is like because the older generation, those big players, I feel like they could put aside their ego. They could. Yeah. But as this team, I look at it. it who's going to put their ego aside? Like, is Mbappe going to play the pass? Is yeah. well, <laughs> from what we've seen, <laughs> from what we've yeah. seen, it seems like Bell, uh, Bell, Vinny's willing to do that. I feel like Vinny's the uh, yeah. M- Mbappe's got to come along with the. It oh, can't right. just be one. It's no. got to be both. Yeah. But we, you don't also want to sacrifice. No. You know, Vinny, like what you just said. Exactly. So. Uh, so the guy for me, yeah. but there you go. That's Ford the watch. first... Ford watch. First... <laughs> uh, uh, I actually might next week. I'll find someone to wax something up. We can just do like... For, every week we can just like a few teams in Ford watch. Um, get a whiteboard going. We could do... Yeah, we could. I, 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 like I, might, I might add one. I might put it on one of our seats next yeah, time and yeah. just whack a whiteboard I like that. Up. We can I add like each that, week. Yeah. Ford watch, just safe and... Clear or something. Like I like that. Yeah. <laughs> just, we have a three tiers like and we'll wax some team. We'll, 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 yeah, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Keep, I can, yeah, keep, I'm going to wake up there quick so I can work something keep, out before. Keep, keep tuned next week. That'd be very yeah, exciting. Yeah. <laughs> so Madrid, that could be you funny. Fraud that could be you funny. Yeah. Fraud I like watch. that. <laughs> um, a team that escaped a dodgy game, a really, another really tough game, was Barcelona. They yeah. were also away. Another tough place was Valencia. That place. Talk about hostile. That place is not comfortable. I would not want to play in front of those guys. Um, very, very impressive result. Performance wise, a little mm, bit yeah. to improve them, but to be expected. Considering I think, I think they had six uh I think six Academy players play. Yeah. Did you see their midfield? I've never, I've never met these brothers in my life. They were, I think they were both on their debut, if I'm not the the one who, the, who really was, shoot out to me. Um well, I've already there was one somewhere. Um He was very good. I don't know, I forgot his name. He's got yeah. Oh, I didn't write his name down. I thought I wrote his name down. But the young guy nearly scored in his debut yeah. right at the end of the game. Yeah, he, he was very he was very midfield. good. Um, like, well, I think we I think we said this last week. Like Barca just we were a bit worried about their depth, particularly defensively, because they lost Cancelo, and it's yeah. like, but they just find a way. Well, I mean, it's Barca. They they just have these academy guys come through, and they are seriously good already at 18, 19, 20, however old they are. Casado, so him. He oh, was a player. I mean, Very you know, good to player. add to Gavi, Pedri, and De Jong, and well, for Olmo me, he just walked back in the club man. yesterday. Yeah, 
He's come back with a gold medal. Yeah. So like, like, like it's how do you feel these guys in? Seriously impressive, isn't it? Seriously impressive. Because this guy's like, like, like a player. You've got a coach now that's yeah, and you and a coach that likes the young likes he working does. with the young guy as well, Hansi Flick. And, and it suits the young players with because he likes to press twenty four seven, and they've got on. the energy to do that. So. Yeah. Are we going to see a, rev- uh, a revolution of Lewandowski again? Because under Hansi Could Flick, do. two goals in this Could game. Um, was very quiet with when in between the goals or without the goals, but that's sort of what you can expect. Yeah. Like Lewandowski, a bit older though, right? But G finds back of the net. Good penalty. Fantastic penalty. Good goal to get in on the back of the Lamina Miles cross. Just feel like it's a reunion yeah. for those two as well. Uh, that, he like, doesn't have to do any of the hard work. He just has to be in the box and tap score. That ball, yeah. And he's, he's one of the best strikers we've seen, so... Yeah, I mean, looks first half they Valencia should have been at least two 0 up. Mm-hmm. I think Cabassi made an what a ridiculous clear clearance off the line after Stegen was doing a Caris or <laughs> just know, wondering an Adrian <laughs> or whatever. He, I don't know what he was doing, yeah. but um, yeah, Valencia. Uh, if, if I was Valencia, I'd be pissed. I'd be really. That was an opportunity first half two 0 not put the game to bed, but just have that edge over Barca. Like that yeah. was on the forty fifth minute. I think that yeah, that would especially a young team, a young midfield like Barca mm-hmm. had. I think it would have killed them. But if anything, it probably gave them the confidence. To say lads, we, we haven't yeah, played well here, but yeah. we're, we're well in this. So because I went to half time one all, which one is all, yeah. ridiculous. And again, the goal right at the end towards the end of stoppages, mm. like that Lewandowski gets in ahead of the defender as well. You're like, oh, coming. The Valencia slow, chance was before. The limit was it before, yes, the, it was before, before the limit, yeah. Because Duro scored, Hugo Duro scored, but yeah. he literally had that <clears throat> clearance of the line like a minute earlier. A minute, like, yeah. They yeah. were going like, from mm. 35th minute onwards, they were going away, like, pan away yeah. at this pass on a goal, a few saves. Um, they hit the upright, I'm pretty sure, as well later on in the game. They had a mm. lot of chances, yeah. just didn't quite fall their way. Yeah. I guess for them, it's sort of in their quest to be a part of European. Groups again, it's probably one point dropped, but for yeah. Barcelona, it's I think it's a massive, massive two points yeah. gain. I mean, it looked like it was a draw game, huge two points yeah. gain. And considering Real drew, exactly, it's yeah. a four point game. It's it's a it feels big, like. that was a massive win, massive big for them. So fair play to them. That was uh, for that well. was a good second half, and Flick did, yeah, he killed it. So. Very, very, and the fact that Pedri just wandered on a half time, mm. like, yeah, that like it's not even close to there. Arejo, I don't think he even played Pedri Christensen. Garcia off the bench. Yep. Um, Bolde, by the way, shout out him. He was ridiculous. he was impressive. He was very good, I thought. So yeah, they've, they've got one there. Like if he can stay fit, that is. Because <laughs> he was a big loss in last year. I feel like mm. that really disturbed the back. Him and Testagan missing really disturbed yeah. the back line sort of continuity. But look, he's still signing Ferran or Rafinha. Yeah, like uh, Ferran, I'm, I think we both got big questions about. Rafinha. I think he's a good squad. Good, for this good team. squad player, yeah, 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 but you wouldn't. For Barcelona. Yeah, you wouldn't have him start. Danny Almo, Frankie you? De Jong, all these guys. Yeah. Like, um, I think it's basically Lamine and Lewandowski are your two locks up top. Yeah, I'd say so, yeah. And then you sort of feel... And I like what you said a few weeks back, where, or even last week, was it like when Pedri just goes out wide or yeah. you can even shift it. You can put, if Firmin's going to be playing, shift him or Almo out wide and play yeah. them as another flank, but... But positive, they've got, positive they've got depth in that midfield, that's for sure. Jesus. Well, now you had those Serious two eight depth. midfielders that you can yeah. work through. Serious yeah, depth. So. Ridiculous. Average yeah, age of 19 as well. <laughs> it's, it's, a lot of it's just whether they can stay fit. <laughs> Keep the yeah, physio department need to be working. Yeah. They'll be better this year. Um, final game in um, La Liga, the latest game of the weekend. Villarreal, Atleti 2-2. Mm. Mm. Saul off back. Yep. Good scores good on his return to yeah. the, the Yellow Submarines. Um, I'll tell you what, this game could have had four or five for each team. It was, I think Pepe hit the junction... Um, yeah, there was a free kick that went very close as well. Um, so Lino had the big first big chance denied by the keeper Conde. Then Dan Juma, what a goal! Yeah, come back from line didn't do a, what, an eighth or ninth. This at Everton. Yeah, no. From his own half, runs, sits Vitz on his bum basically. Pass or black? We all both agree he's a top keeper, which may look very yeah, no suspect in this game here. Let's say yeah, the <laughs> black. suspect I because think is pretty the second goal. <laughs> well, Lorente literally equalised straight after that from the yeah. kickoff straight away. Good goal, Blast that it. one. Good goal. Um, Pass Conde at the near post, and then Villarreal yeah. went back in front. Thirty-seven minutes. This was a bit question. So Obat comes out to punch, and I think it, the ball that goes through between his both I fingers, or he doesn't he, get. He to just kind of hesitated. Uh, I don't know. Didn't get there, and it just bounces off. Um, so yeah, so, I think so. You know, yeah. Salwan went into the back of the net, so that was a. 
a gift for yeah. the Real. Um, and then Saul off in the fifth minute of the first half stoppages, great goal, great yeah. cross, uh, cross into the area. Yeah. Um, Barrios, I say, great cross. Barrios he had a good game. Yeah, he did. He had a fantastic. Lino and Barrios, the the two wide players, were really really good. Sort of a good header. And then second half, no goals. Despite it felt yeah, like no, it, it could have been two for each side. Yeah. It was a strange old game. But they deserved. I think both teams deserve yeah. it. Just I let you again, though. It's give me that. It's annoying, isn't it? <laughs> but you know, if you are where you're surprised, Sam, and I Everyone, see why now because yeah. they are still very dangerous. So um, play in this team. Yeah, just I don't know. Just Atletico. Just it's just it's just such an Atletico result. You know, they would they were never in front. They were always chasing season. and. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. Obviously, Alvarez on the bench, which I just hope it's because he's just arrived. It's nothing to do with... Some of uh, the names on the bench are know. ridiculous for yeah. them, though. So, <clears throat> look, I'm hoping they can only get better. Mm. But, um, yeah, I, I think you take just take the point. I, Villarreal's a tough place to go. I, yeah. I think it's just one of those, just move on. Yeah, get it sort of out of the way. So. Sort of thought good. Griezmann, I'm not really sure yeah. about in this game either. Lorente was good. They need to sort that though with Griezmann because if they're going to do anything this year, he's going to have to have a good season. So, yeah, work it. Um, Vitzel, <coughs> Aspilicueta and Leno, man, is a back three. That's just dodgy. Yeah. Like Jimenez came off the bench. I assume he'd play the next game. Who do you reckon he plays over? I think Vitzel. Yeah, Vitzel look dodgy. Like yeah. even that, I know I understand a player having more pace than you, but you got to deal with that better. He's, He's, yeah. And he got dragged from as well. I just sort of yeah. feel that that's the. He's probably past it anyway. How old? Like thirty three, isn't he? Thirty four. Probably been on FIFA since forever. Yeah. Like, He's always been like an 83, 84 <laughs> Yeah. Well. He's a little always. look for a little little always. checky board and then FIFA. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think it's a team. Oh, this team was like a nearly team. Like you see, you got Solov, but no Alvarez. <laughs> You've got Vitzel and no Jimenez. Yeah. No DePaul. If Gallagher's like, now just come. Gallagher's there now as well. Yeah, that's a that's a good one actually. And all, yeah, almost yeah, I like that. Yeah. And yeah, like Lorente looked good at, at right wing back. I think yeah. I'd push Leno back to a left wing back and put another attacker in, probably Alvarez. Yeah. But it's just a fun. It's a team that lacks a lot of wide creativity. Like, if, yeah, a little bit. Outside yeah. of the full, like you can't really play a front three. You have to play a narrow sort mm. of triangle, well, almost like two yeah. triangles, which is I think limits their mm. capacity. I think where Alvarez is going to have to come in though, and going to have to do probably more than just score goals. And do anything to play he's make as well. To, yeah, it's, it's, it's funny. I, I think know. you just take it. They, they're going to. They, they go, surely they're going to get better. They're bringing in Gallagher is is still an upgrade. I think absolutely in that midfield game. That Alvarez midfield. is obviously an upgrade. Yeah, Sawath will get better. Griezmann, I'm still back to get yeah. better. Yeah, and they still got good players, man. Like it, it's you know. Yeah, it's, it's got it's got a clear. It, it, it has to. It has to. It has to. I'm, I'm just worried. They're a team that is, for me, it's gonna be a long, a long, hard watch this year because it has to. If work. it goes wrong, there will be alarm bells because they have spent a lot of money. It's it's they've spent a lot, a lot of money, of money. and even the players that already they they will spend a lot of money. These are the players as well. Yep, yep, I yep. think the pressure has to tell eventually. Something has to happen. Mm. Champions League or La Liga have to go date one of them. Yeah, I agree. I Semi-final agree. or a, a, a proper title fight Top, this yeah, year. Yeah, I agree. Um, but yeah, fair play. Another one. Villarreal, great result. Valencia, great performance. And Mallorca, great result. These teams yep. fighting at home yep. and making it very, very interesting against the big boys. Um, quickly, the league on Marseille were cooking. 5-1 yeah. <laughs> over Brest, who were finished third, by the way, last season. So they're a really <clears> handy <throat> side. Greenwood was on fire. Two goals, two inverted assists sort of things. Pen and uh, one to Penn, and then there was like a little back heel touch mm. to, for the other, other goal. Um, two for him. <clears throat> Uh, two for Luis Enrique, he joined the club as well. Yeah. Um, and I think it was Wahi from Wahi, the spot yeah. to finish the fifth one. This was just yeah, they, domination. They look seriously impressive on the counter. Oh, the pace. And I, and I think it's it's disappointing for Brest because they just allowed a, they allowed a three on three every time. Every time. It and it's like as soon way. as that ball from midfield, if you don't win that ball with mm. your two centimetres, they're out. And it's yeah. Greenwood, it's... <laughs> It, like he was, like, you can't leave. He's still an unbelievable talent <laughs> player. You can't leave him in a three v three and in a one v one. You no, just you, you can't do it. Left so foot, right foot. I think teams now just have to just sit back a little bit. Mm. Let Hoiberg have the ball because yeah. he's not going to. He's never been a player to create from deep. He's, he's always a been pass, a, like a sidewards kind of keep it simple kind of player, which is nothing wrong with that. It's fine. Yeah. Um. But yeah, I think Brest just tactically got got that wrong big time. 
Because they weren't bad. They still created decent chances going forward. I think they had more chance. About a pen. Or shots on goal or something yeah, like that. Yeah, Rooley was unbelievable Fantastic in goal. Well. Unbelievable in goal. Um, but yeah, just defensively, I thought tactically it just, just wasn't great. They just allowed them. Just the transition was just so easy. So easy. You had it written down. The, for the Greenwood first goal was to repass <laughs> it to get to one end from the other. Yeah. Three passes. One ball from In the third Rooley. minute. You should be yeah. like tight or up high pressing yeah. or, you know, a compact shape. But to go from one end to the other, from the own box to the other box and three yeah. passes is pretty bad. Yeah. So. I think breast yet. Alarm long. bells or is it just, just, just one, beach one stuff. off? I think it's a bit yeah. of a, just starting to get settled. Yeah. Um, and they're, they're coming, they're facing against a red hot lake. A well, team I think that's going to be up I for think they, This uh, is title. So I think we both it? said that we we think they're going to win it. I think so. they can do it. I hope PSG so. PSG is dodgy. <laughs> the only thing, the thing that PSG have in their back pocket is Luis Enrique. Um, Luis Enrique is a winning manager. Yeah, right? And just the awe of winning it. Mm. You know. but they've still got fantastic players. Obviously, losing one of their greats in Ugarte as well. One of the all time players <laughs> to Manchester United. <laughs> you know. So yeah, that's been a big loss. <laughs> Midfield scored, no uh, balance at all. Had to sneak it in. Had to take it in there. Yeah. Ah, fair play. What, fair a, what play, a line yeah. deal for Manchester United. <laughs> um, but no, fair play to Marseille because as we both yeah. said, we were raving about them coming to the season and Deserbi as well. Fair play. Yeah, he looks. Do you see when the second goal went? Passionate. He, he's up for he's this. He's back. So I, I said, like, he's always got a chip on his shot, or yeah. it feels like yeah. he's always he got a point to prove. Almost. So, yeah, I think he's serious. They, they're going to be dangerous in, in Ligue 1. So. Are they even European? They're, no, he's working out in the Conference League. Well, they finished eighth. Does that get Conference League? I, I surely not. Surely not. Not in Ligue 1, surely not. Yeah, no. So, if. Well, well, they've only got that to focus on and the domestic cup. Domestic, so. yeah. They they should be pushing real hard for this title because it's there. If they if they want it bad enough and they can perform consistently enough, let me just double check. I'm 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 pretty sure there's no way eighth in the league and gets you qualified. Surely not. Yeah, no, they got nothing. No, so that they should straight to league football. Yeah, they should be just go for it. They have to. Oh, this is their chance. This is their chance. It's their chance. I still think that yeah, the Zerbs are fantastic. Well, PSG haven't used the. The Mbappe wages. I'm not even going to say money because it's sold him for free. <laughs> um, just the Mbappe. While well, they haven't used that yet, you got to pounce. So you have to, have to. Yeah, it's there. The league one, league on McDonald's league. You know, what, yeah. a, what a league. Oh, I was watching the hearts and it said McDonald's. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm, like, I'm like, oh, fuck crazy. Oh, I'm like, man. I knew it was McDonald's, but actually seeing it, like, damn. <laughs> you know, fair play to, the, to league on though. Fair props. Their highlights package yeah. is really well done. It was probably one of the best. It was a six minute. Yeah. Had the minutes at the bottom right. Had a concept. Of something. Yeah. Yeah. Stan I, sports suck when they do the Champions oh, League. Like it wait, the goal, the, ninth minute for the goal will go in and then the commentary will be like five seconds later. <gasps> yeah. It's like very like. <laughs> need that. Just fix it. Just fix it. Yeah. Well, just buy every, every, yeah, buy just, come every on. single league. Like, yeah. It's, it's, it's a pain. Yeah. Um, fair play. Deserve <laughs> be. You know, yeah, I this quickly. Um, <clears throat> I think me and Tots had him in like our top six managers in the Prem last year, like later in the season. And Flynn was like, well, is he not just inherited Potter's work and mm. what was going on there? And, and as the season came to an end, we were like, oh, maybe fair enough because they didn't really kick on at all. They had a few players come back. You thought oh, they might at least solidify yeah. towards more where you'd expect them to be. And they fell off and then he left the club and it's like, oh, he wanted the big boys, didn't get the big boys. Is he really all that? Mm. They start like that. Like, this is like the, really I reckon this is the perfect job that he could have got, a sleeping giant that yeah. no one really has thought of, but a club that wants to desperately get back to where they once were. So save a day for the Marseille yeah. boys. Yeah, fair play to him. Remember to be cooking Let them once cook. again. Let them cook. Um, speaking about cook, these guys are under fire. Five players at stake, uh, with most of the stake, sorry this season um, across the leagues. Um, sort of, it sort of is for what watch. We went with that word a, a lot, I guess, today on the show. But it's sort of like a mini for watch, a mini yeah, keep an eye off them. Don't stuff yeah. up, sort of. <laughs> the, yeah, or yeah. the yeah, yeah. The the chance is there. Don't bottle it. Yeah, it's, I think we'll put it like that. Um, I've got one from every league. I've done that as well. I'm, yep. I'm love it. Love back it. Back on that page. Where do you want to start? What league do you want to start us with? Oh, I'll go. I'll go with the Prem. I'll yeah, start off with yeah, the Prem. Nice. I've gone with Basuma from uh, from Tottenham. Cool. With the whole news that's come out that obviously he's been suspended by the club. Couple balloons. Um, <laughs> yeah, couple balloons. <laughs> Put on the Snapchat story, don't yeah, mind it. Yeah, what a um, <laughs> You know, and his start of the season last year, Basuma was, he, I thought he was unbelievable. Yeah. I thought he was team of the season, box to box mid. I thought he was unbelievable. 
And then he hit that form slump middle and back end of the year and he wasn't yeah. great. And Tottenham fans were calling for him to get dropped and and still trust him and put yep. his faith in him. And now he's he's got to repay that trust and yeah. find a way to, to perform. And actually his career is on the line if you think about it. Because if he comes back, doesn't perform well, I, I think Tottenham will look at maybe getting rid of him. you got Archie uh, Gray there. Costa Coglu, I don't think he'll put up with that kind of stuff. Nah. So I think, you know... With everything that's going on, he needs to be one of Tottenham's best players this year. When very, he comes back. very fair. So. A lot of young kids around there as well that want to take yeah, that spot. Exactly. The young, um, is a Swedish kid? <clears throat> yeah, the, the Berg, 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 or something. Berg, yeah. Oh, yeah, pretty handy. Yeah. Apparently, a lot of raps about him from the Swedish. Like, yeah. He was fantastic. Like, but then Vicario was there abusing him. You <laughs> he that? ripped into Bro, him. Like <laughs> Don't play out from the back, yeah, young kid. <laughs> I understand it, but man, he's Classic like, Italian, where'd you, where'd you want the guy to go? <laughs> Two on one, bro. I know he was back to goal. You weren't available for the back. Oh, he's five, like he? eighteen, isn't he? He's oh, he's super. Bro, young. Yeah, he looks so. like twenty four year old. He's built like yeah, nice. he's yeah, good size. But Archie Gray as well could take that spot. So that's a fair yeah. shout. Um, <clears throat> I've got a funny one because I, I updated this this year because of the move. I went to Jao Felix. Oh yeah, I like that. Moose to Chelsea. I was close. Yeah, yeah, I was thinking again. That. I could pick a lot of Chelsea players, and I've talked to, to high heaven about Enzo, <laughs> so it wouldn't be something a little bit different. Um, Jao Felix was. Okay for Chelsea last time around. Yeah. Probably cost them when he came because he got that red card. Then he got injured, <laughs> and he got suspended for three games. So he like so. he missed his first ten games. He was possibly there for. Yeah. And by the time he properly got into form was Frank Lamp- Lampard again. It was sort of like yeah. So Chelsea fans are like, yeah, he was okay. It was good. And I'm like, was he really all of that, or are you just shit? Like it, it, it's sort mm. of like I'm thinking they're gonna for his career. This is it for me. This yeah. is the last straw. You're at a. Club that's a shambles. If you can say this, you go from being, do I trust you to, okay, yes, he is going to lead a club forward mm. and his nation forward, you know, go, going forward now. And yep. This is a wonder kid, a star kid, a Benfica that was unstoppable, right? Champions League goals, running at defenders, causing chaos. Haven't seen anything yeah. since then. Can he do it for Chelsea? Because, again, if he can do it at Chelsea, he can do it anywhere. I believe that right oh, now. It's probably one of the most I mean, toxic yeah. clubs, environments, p- 11s, manage, like the yep. whole thing. So... I think it's at stake. He's just. I think it's, it's his career. Like this could be it. Doesn't do well here. We know how Chelsea ship off players. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised. He ends up in a Saudi league or like yeah. a, in a I mean, really low yeah. rank La Liga side. It's so cr- yeah, it's crazy that he was once valued at 120 million, which is what Atletico bought him for. He it's, he was the guy. He was unstoppable. Yeah. He was goals. He was assists. He was supposed to be that. It's sort of like the average. It's supposed to be the yeah. The yeah, yeah, he yeah. can be playing up nine, but can also be. The facilitator, the playmaker, can play a bit deeper, and he's never been that player. So I think yep. it's do or, do or die now for yeah. Uh, I agree. Jack Felix, uh, I'm going to League One, League and one. I've got Dembele. Same. Um, yeah. yeah, I think this was the, this, this was the, the this, po- the this was the poster boy <laughs> of fraud watch. Like it's, I mean, it, Mbappe gone. It's it's you know it's now or never for him. Yeah. I think in terms of starting to to score more goals, I, mean, I think he scored. I might be generous in saying he scored five goals last year. I think, I think it's ridiculous. I think it was a bit less. Stat, yeah, yeah, um, I th- yeah. He he just needs to. If PSG are going to be competitive in the Champions League and retain Ligue 1, he needs to have a massive season. I think he needs to be injury free, and you know, there's going to be a lot of talk about who's going to score the goals, who's going to create the chances. It's for me, it's going to be a, a lot on him. So you have to be right. You know, he's 27 now. He's had a, he's won the World Cup. He's but he's never. He's never reached up to the highest, I think. Like I that star know, boy yeah. from Dortmund. Oh, right? he was, he was. I think everyone wanted him at their club oh. when he was at Dortmund. He was. There was a time there where you, you're thinking, is he going to be the best player in the world and stuff like this? Yeah. So like he was, he was like Lamine Yamal. What Lamine Yamal oh, is now? Should, 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 yeah, and those injuries have sort of, yeah, screwed him over. Even when still. he's played, he's just he's never had that end product. He just looks um. Not like la- yeah, like it looks lazy. Like it comes across. Like he yeah. doesn't like he doesn't. Like, you know, comes short for the ball. Yeah. Doesn't, doesn't really spin in behind. He just sort of, like, picks the ball up and tries to get past players. And yeah, I feel like in a league that there's not many exciting products there at the moment. Yeah, no. He's one that could go both ways. And he said, if they want to retain the title, if they want to do something in the Champions League, it's going to fall on him. Right? Goal, when you think about goals. Yeah. They've got Lee up there. They've got Ramos. He's injured. Colin Moore. Yeah, Colin Moore. But even Colin Moore was closely closer going in line was, as well. It was because between them, but yeah. He's made the move and just been rubbish. Like, he hasn't really yeah. appeared. So, like, and they got rid of, I think, Ekatika to Frankfurt. Frankfurt. Yeah. It was a big move for them. Yep. 
Um, but yeah, I just he he has he has he, he has to have a good yeah, season. Like, where's the goal <laughs> come from then? Like, <laughs> yeah. like, who can score the goals on this side? And who knows what's happening with um, with Osserman? So I don't, I don't think he's gone. I, I, I don't think PSG are going to do anything. Yeah. it doesn't look like it anyway. Um, so yeah, I went at him yeah. as well. Uh, Bundesliga. Bundesliga. I've gone with Kim Min Jae. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, true. I mean, at Napoli was. I think he won Serie A Defender of the Year, yep. if I'm not wrong. Uh, yeah. um, he was incredible. Got the the big move to Bayern, and was just pretty rubbish last year. I know That's a well lot. Said. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just rubbish. I know. I know a lot. Well, maybe a bit of it was to do with the system and and Tuchel playing a back three, which I just doesn't suit Kim Min Jae at all. But with Delict gone, you know, company will assume he'll play a back four. That, that'll so, suit yeah. Kim Min Jae with Dyer next to him or Upham and Kana, whoever it is. He needs to be the superior centre back for me, and not just slightly better. He, he needs to be yeah. very good for them to be competitive again in Champions yeah. League or. Or the, or the league. Or the league. Because even in the league, like, we, obviously we'll talk about the, the cup with Stuttgart and Leverkusen. They both looked Cooked. incredible. And they both finished above yes. Bayern's. So, yeah. you know, Dortmund have gotten probably better. Leipzig have gotten better. So... Yeah. How do you respond? You know, how do you respond? And it's going to be a lot to him. He'll be, he's probably... Might even be the leader of that defence. Because, you know, you're going to have... It depends on where Kimmich plays, but yeah. he based him in one of the oldest states. <laughs> yeah, it literally, yeah. So he's going to have to have a big year. Absolutely. Not just a one-season no. wonder. No. Need you. Need you to come good. Um, <clears throat> this is a little bit uh, against four. It's probably more just like I'm worried for it. Maximilian Bayer now at yeah, yeah, yeah. Dortmund. Yeah. Um, big move for him, big move for Dortmund, but... How the mm. hell do you fit all these options in one team? And I mm. don't want to see him get stuck on the bench. Yeah. That's the last thing I want to see. Um, if he plays in the middle, or if he, they put him a little bit wide, it's good. But it's a big year because he might not get the same sort of uh, attacking possibilities, chances mm. created for himself. Yeah, It's going to be about facilitating others and uh, having doing more with limited touches. Yeah. That's what the likes of Sancho did well there. Um, have done. That's what Harlan fed off you know, stuff all chance of scoring the goals and he had the opportunities. He doesn't screen to me yet as that player. It looks like he's that finished yeah, product. Yeah. So I'm a bit worried. We know how much confidence and form plays a lot in these young players. I'm just worried about this move. Really, really worried yeah. about this move. Because yeah. there's, a, there's a definite player there. There's a, there's a top, oh, yeah. top player in there. So. Great build, great size, finishing, IQ, looks to be the, the bit, right? But it's still sort of seven, eight out of ten. It's not the finished product. And I don't want it yeah. to all unravel here at Dortmund. So yeah. I'm worried for it. It's more of a worry than a Surely person. they're playing a, a two up top with Karassi and him, surely. You think so. But then so. the obsession with teams playing wide players and wingers yeah. and yeah, fullbacks and uh, I just yeah, I'm not, I hope that's, I hope they can sort that's it out. That's a good one. I like that. Yeah. But that's mine for Bundesliga. Uh La Liga. This is an interesting one. Go. Gone with Julian Alvarez. Fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> because he's won every trophy possible, right? But and, and he's wanted to be a starting striker for probably a good year now. I think last year he yeah. he said the same thing. He wanted to be a starting striker. Um and he doesn't have to prove anything to anyone, but this this is where if he wants to to be that starting striker like he said yeah. he wants to, he's gonna have to come and, and have a really good year at mm. Atletico. And I worry with Simeone, <laughs> is it that going to be that free-flowing, you get those tap-ins like you do at City yeah. kind of kind of football? Um, and they pay a lot of money for him. So he's going to have oh, to come okay. in and he's going to have to perform pretty much every game that he's there. Mm. So, again, he's a hell of a player, but it's one of those. He's spent a lot of money on him. Simeone, I don't think, has a great track record of big money strikers no. with Felix and... Yeah. You know, he's done better with the cheaper ones. I think they got Suarez for free. <laughs> and then yeah, they won the and league. And they won the league the um, came, yeah. So, yeah, this is yeah, this is a big year for Alvarez, I think. So when you like it. Especially if, yeah. Especially if he doesn't <clears throat> be strapped straight away. Yeah. The pressure that, that... Those fans are pretty them, tough on their players as tough, well. very tough, yeah. Um, I went with Frankie de Jong at Barcelona. Ooh, 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 ooh. Always the one thrown up in transfer rumours. Yeah. Now there's links back to the Premier League with, you know, all the clubs again... They've now got Casado in there, we just mentioned yeah. early on. You've got about seven other midfielders in there. He's the one on big wages. <clears throat> Pretty sure he's, con he's got two years on his contract. So, yeah, 
so it's come to a time where if you really do love Barca and want to stay at Barca, you need to perform, man. Like mm. you need to do it and do it now. And again, we both say at his best, it is one of a kind. It's really yeah. no one can be like him. But you know the fact that they just shipped off here in Gundogan for not for zero. Yeah, that's crazy. They just let him go for free. Like which they let I, him go, which I is don't understand. Mental. Yeah. But if they can do that, they can do that to you as well. I think. Yeah. If you're not going to be either fit or perform at your best. They'd rather keep the youthful mm. guys that are actually looking really, really good. So they clearly don't need the money, right? If, like, why wouldn't you take your 10 mil? No. I, like, you'll I, get for yeah. 15 mil for Gundogan. Like. But I'd pay 40 for Gundogan. Yeah, I know. Yeah, he's inc- he's I know, incredible. He's incredible. But Barca are just fucking, I don't know. They're the most backwards club. But that's what I'm saying. <laughs> the pressure, I feel like, is so on. The spotlight now is so on De Jong. It's now you're in your prime or coming to the almost the end back end of it. Almost what it feels like now with how yeah. could it could have been in the past. Show your best... Be it, yeah, but be that sort of, <clears throat> and then when that league title, when that middle period over Christmas and towards, I guess, the start of April, he was incredible. He was incredible. But ever he since was, then, I don't know if I've seen him. He was arguably a top three midfielder in the world. In the world, yeah. I remember when we played him in the Europa League, he cooked us, he yeah. tore us apart. And I'm thinking like, damn, this guy's good. But ever since, I'm like, mm, yeah, really? Like, Injuries yeah. and just... Yeah. Bit not just not the same. Inconsistency, Frankie I think, is the best word. Because yeah. he still has some great performance in there, but... Like I said with Enzo Fernandez, if you've got a player that's worth so much and for him on truckloads of wages, yeah. I'm not accepting one every three or four games. I yeah, want no. one every second minimum, minimum or every yeah. game you give me a seven out of ten. So mm. I think in terms of at stake, that's probably the best description of what's up for him because his Barcelona career could be at stake if could doesn't be, go yeah. right here. Yeah. If these youngsters keep coming through. Keep, keep, keep I like, keep I like that. That's another good one. Syria, I struggled with. I don't know about you. I struggled I, with. Yeah, I a bit of a cop out, I think my one, but I this is. I went with Karat Skilia. Same here. Yeah, yeah. Same here yeah. I thought this was. I thought this was outrageous, but yeah, I went with him. It's a bit of a cop out for me. I feel like, but yeah, because I I was I went through like every team, and I was like I was thinking Vlahovic, but I'm like, no. Oh, like, I put him in, and I'm like, we scored twenty goals last. Yeah, time. I'm looking at Liao, and I'm like, no, oh, he's like, got and then a last, couple yeah. of defenders. I'm like, I just don't think so. So I went with this guy. Because you know what, it's a, it's a league of steady eddies. Yeah. Like everyone just does their job, it feels like. No one's shit. No one's really yeah, amazing. No. But someone like Kravitz Kelia, he's been <clears throat> so good. Mm. Like, can he be the same player yeah. for me? Because, like, last season, yeah, he was still probably the better of the, the two of them, but it's still nowhere near. It wasn't the title yeah, winning. Driving yeah. defenders, yeah. skipping pass players, curling shots. Yeah. And if they're going to do well, I mean, we'll get on some <laughs> we'll get soon. To, get on but that. if they're going to have. A good season. It's similar to Dembele and a couple others. He's just, he's going to have to be mm-hmm. unbelievable. Mm-hmm. <laughs> With what we saw, he's going to have to be the Ballon d'Or winner at this point. Yeah, if they want to get top four. <laughs> if they don't make to... any signings, he's going to have to be a Ballon d'Or contender for them to do well. That's where the best, I can't so, add anything onto that. That's where yeah. the best description. So, they cannot score goals. They, oh, they just look, they just look so, I don't even know what the word is. Miserable. Weak, miserable, <laughs> yeah, spineless, yeah, like just yeah. spineless. Is a great yeah, for it. just no yeah. Point. So good luck, man. <laughs> yeah, good great, luck. <laughs> great timing. You've, you've heard me come into this segment here because yeah. this is now our Serie A section. <clears throat> Verona smacked up Napoli three 0 after we said Verona was the best club in Serie A last weekend. So we, well. yeah, we had them both as our surprise team. Yeah. You know, should go back and watch. Yeah, it. yeah I think I'm third. Um, I'm third. I think. I, oh, we had them in the top four. That's for sure. Yeah. We didn't, oh no, oh, we didn't have a mate. No, not 18. Hellas Verona, no. one of the greatest Gross. clubs. We, we were talking about it earlier with the, the, the fans. They had no one on the ground that <laughs> most of the fans were upstairs, up in the top, top tier run the bottom tier. No one actually cared. No one backed this team to win. They go and belt them 3 0. Absolutely belt them. And you talk about, you talked about um, Marseille transitioning. I tell you what, Verona yeah. cut to pieces killed in that game on the counter attack. They killed That them. was like Barca. It was, a, it was one touch, two touch, win a 50 50 drill, bang, they're out. And they the, just yeah, the second goal was like a dog scrap. Yeah. But Everyone was wanted. fighting, but they just wanted it more. Yeah. And just one ball and they're in. And it was I a like great it. finish. And the first half, I don't think they created too much, Verona. I think Napoli had a couple. I think yeah, and Gisele they made a close. mistake. And then Kravatskilia yeah. maybe should have done better, but it's a good block in the end. Yeah, the second half, just Napoli, just nothing apart from Sambo and Gisele hitting the bar. Because well, he got, he had his saved. I mean, he missed the first and the Bocca also missed a big chance. Well, I thought he could have scored that. Yeah. Kravitz Skelly, the one you mentioned as well. Then Kravitz Skelly went off holding his head. Yeah, got concussed. concussed I, think, I think it's a classic concussion. So he'll be out for a little bit already. Mm. I'm pretty sure the concussion protocol is two weeks now. So that is that is a thing. It's not just AFL. Well, no, in the so, Premier League, it's definitely a thing. Yeah, um, I'm not sure if I've. 
made that official in yeah. Syria yet. Okay. But that could be a big loss. But as still, well. if it's they won't want you won't want to risk a head injury. No. The doctors won't well, allow it. It, so. it looked like it got a fly arm, or whatever, and <laughs> then it just fell down. Yeah, and that's not a good sign when you're yeah, just sort no. of falling off. So that's not good. So Kravitz Kelly went off just before half time, and then yeah, Liverman turned the fiftieth minute, um, gave him the lead, um, and then super sub Mosquera mm. again. I don't know where this guy's come from. I never heard of him. They signed him up. I was thinking like the Wolves centre back that choked Havertz like flew over. I was like, bro, you, you choking guy, a player guy, and then you're scoring. That guy, a that guy's yeah, different. He's, that guy different guy he's, he's a different guy. Mascara. <laughs> kind of look like him as well. Yeah, so. he's a, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but my, but my, he was bloody good. Was I don't know where they find these players from. Yeah, it's he, weird, isn't it? They pay like eight hundred grand for them, and they turn out to yeah. play like this. Well, this is what happened. Like Verona's good players last season. They all signed a few years back, and then they all sold them. Yeah, same thing. Like, oh, they can't. Possibly. They can't do it again. They've gone that again. From that, I mean, fucking, <laughs> they're going to be the Bologna. Yeah, they're, they're <laughs> top four. They can't be the Champions League. Hello, Verona, mate. <laughs> Pack the bottom tier out. <laughs> like like, we put them fourth. Like we put Napoli 18th. Like, incredible, man. We're, we're too good at You must say, I didn't put them third. <laughs> I put them third from bottom, though. So <laughs> yeah, <laughs> literally, yeah. It was, oh, it was crazy. crazy. And then, like, his crazy. second goal, like, deflects, <clears throat> and then he's just there to tap it home. Like, yep. it just summed up their day. Yeah. It was... And that second goal, as I said, that's, for me, just showed where both teams that are That typified yeah. the second Ro- half in Rona particular. Were bat- there was, like, eight players in there just scrapping yeah. for this 50-50. It just pops out. One pass, three on goal, goal. I can't believe how slow their def- Napoli's defense was. Like, they just look so leggy, and like, right, yeah, like, yeah, like Di Lorenzo, bro, was moving like turbo before I, he's. I like, was going to have him on my forward watch list. He, I, I was close to putting him. He's the captain. He needs to captain. They're going to move. Yeah, yeah. The audacity to say I want to move, and you haven't played well for like about fifteen months. Yeah, I think that's. Like, he was just, he was so, like, just their whole defence was slow, but particularly him, like, up top, besides Kravat Skiller, they just got nothing. Their midfield is, like, like Zambo and Geese and Lobotka, like, they're solid players, but, like, they they just, they need players. Like, and it, it could be a good result in the end, in a way, because yeah. then it makes the board act. act McTominay. Like, yeah. I mean, it's just a shambles, isn't it? Like, McTominay. When you when you go, when on. you said that they were targeting him, I number one target uh, Scott McTominay. I almost, right now. Uh, I almost passed out at work. I was like, what? I this backline: Di Lorenzo, Ramani, Juan, <laughs> Spinazzola, left wing back, and Mazzocchi, at right wing back. They're like, all so slow. Well, I don't Ramani, think, Di Lorenzo is not surely he's not he, he's not slow. He just he no. just looked. They just looked off. Leggy, just, yeah. Politani just looked the shadow Shocking. of himself. Like, Shocking. It's almost like they just ate a massive, like, Mackies or, like, a Literally, 100 yeah. jacks and, came, and they just felt like just lethar- it's yeah. a lethargic so, performance. And since that game, I don't think they've... I don't think they've signed anyone. No news in anything. No, no nothing. So... Uh, but again, it's this it's, it's this domino effect, isn't it? it? They're just waiting on Osman, like... Why are you waiting? A lot of clubs You're are waiting on Osman, I tell you. I know. That. There's like, a it's, backlog of Once clubs. this Osman deal... Whether it goes to well, us. Yeah, but say, no, it Because he wasn't even on the bench on the weekend, was no, he? No, there you was know? only had Raspadori. You know, he wasn't yeah. on the bench. So, by the sounds of it, he's leaving. And then, well, obviously, if he leaves, Lukaku's going to go. Then that means, yeah. I'm assuming, they're going to go for Gilmore and maybe yeah. McTominay, like they've been linked to. It's but they got to... you got to get players in. you got to have to. <laughs> yeah. This team's shit. It's like this when is, United yeah. lost to Brighton and then lost to Brentford and mm. then... Casimiro Straight away, Casemiro comes from in. From nowhere, Casemiro rocks up. Um, and then you start playing. Yeah. It's like one signing can change it. Mm-hmm. But, oh, man, if I think, yeah. When they play at home next, I don't know who they have. We, <laughs> it's going to be interesting. You um, have that one there. But, I mean, yeah. I was going to say Lecce, but I think Lecce have They've Inter. got Bologna. Bologna. And Bologna weren't too bad. They got a draw. They that weren't, weren't that, awful. They were okay. That's a danger game. So, yeah. That's I tell you what, if they start 0 and 2, we're redoing Serie A predictions. Yep. <laughs> I think Con- the fact that Conte, a Conte team looks so leaky at the back, Is that's the first thing that yeah. just sprung to like uh, watching the the twenty five minute like the the mini match. Every attack or every counter, every ball they won back went from one end to the other and through the back line. There was no yeah. holding up and go sideways. They literally went bang bang bang. Chance. chance, or like yeah. half chance, and then blocked. But like yeah. they got to the back line or through the back line every single time they won yeah. the ball back. <clears throat> and I'm like, this isn't Conte. Yeah, no, this is not what we like. And you're that's a, that's a great word, leggy. They just look like they're running in mud. They, they were no. Yeah, there. they did. They were. 
Mm. I know, obviously, first game of the year, they can easily yes, t- it's t- easily turn it, turn around easy. But with Conte, you, like, obviously, there's a lot of talks about how hard Conte does mm. in preseason. Do you think maybe maybe that could be a bit of a side effect? The players just haven't been used to this at all. Not be true because they would have played the ball playing system under oh, who won the. Oh, with him I mean, they've had that many coaches. It's hard to, oh, yeah, <laughs> it's hard um, to remember. The Italian manager. Yeah. The, the, when they won the Scudetto, they played <clears throat> ball playing. They were at teams, mm. possession football. So they weren't really tracking back or working without the ball mm. as much. Conte's all about yeah, yeah. tracking and back Conte's the football. And Conte's record in Italy is serious. So it's a bit alarming a lot that of, yeah. this is happening. So. To Verona. I know. Man, Verona. Bro, we put them 18th, man. I, thought <laughs> they were, I, I said it was the worst window I've yeah. seen. They lost, they lost everyone. Good play, every. He, the two guys that their best players, they've lost them both. Yeah. You thought, uh-huh, no chance. Yeah. What a way to start. You see, you, you, and they you barely can... survived last year. So oh, it's, so... I would thought, yeah, they would go down. And they just, they won't. They, they looked, it. it was probably a mix of both. Verona looked good, but Napoli was so just, far, love it. my God. Probably the the team that is least ready for this season. Uh, Look, uh, yeah. From match week one, from what I saw. Out of every yeah. team, they were the least prepared, I think. And you know what? From memory, especially in the, watching the Premier League, Antonio Conte's sides have always started the season off well oh, and sort always. of tailed off. Always, so the yeah. fact that it started so poorly, yeah. how bad will it get come match week 30 <laughs> and their legs are truly I gone? Mean, like, yeah. uh, they, the remaining days of the transfer window, there's not a club that needs signings more. It's a, lot, it's, a lot of questions. <laughs> and there's a lot of signings. Like You could sign... They could go ahead and sign a player in each position and you wouldn't go, oh, yeah, they, they got this player. Or besides left wing, they got this yeah. player. He, oh, no, I think the player they got originally would start over this guy, yeah. like genuinely. Nice and a forward. The wing is position weak. Midfield is just average. I like the two players, but together they're not good enough yeah, in Serie yeah, A. They no creativity. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no creativity. It's a very Conte midfield. Oh, it is. Defend and just yeah. defend. Um, that's that's uh, a lot of questions. I was going to put them as like... Instead of Kravetsky, I was just going to put Napoli. Just Napoli is a club. But it is a lot at stake. Yeah. <laughs> Could go down. <laughs> Get him down. Oh, um, you know what was a bit of a downer on the weekend was the amount of draws. Six draws. in Serie A, six in mm. La Liga, two in Ligue 1, two in the Premier League. Just really, I, want, I just want to read through the La Liga because that was the one that made social yeah. media. I want to read through some of these results because this league is, is cra- well, that's why I love football. It's this league is crazy. Close, man, yeah. You've got Genoa to Inter to... Uh, we didn't talk about them this week, but that's... That was a hell of a game. <laughs> um, to Ram, the superstar there to save Inter. Um, and then Genoa late with an equaliser. Parma won. Fiorentina won. Had a red yeah. card, but still Parma getting a point as well. Like, like, these teams will be God wrote off. Fiorentina. <laughs> Even De Gea was on the bench. I'm like, what, know, yeah, what's well, going on I here? Know, what's that? It was chaos. <laughs> Milan 2, Torino 2. Yep. So, oh, and Milan were lucky. Torino, I'd say very Torino, lucky. Very. Torino were a million bucks. And they've, I didn't realize they have Zapata there now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They yeah, looked yeah. fantastic for them. Empoli nil, Monza nil. Yep. Um, so Verona Roma. three, Napoli nil. Yep. Bologna got a handy point with Udinese. At home, you probably thought you could have done a little bit better, though. Yeah. One all. Cagliari got um, the, the nil all versus Roma. Yeah, that's, so that's De Rossi. De Rossi still <laughs> struggling. Uh, Lazio beat Venezia, but we think that would be the worst team by a long way. 3 yeah. 1. Atalanta beat Lecce 4 0. Yeah. They're probably the Lecce, best looking team. Lecce, I'm, yeah. I'm second guessing why I didn't put them there. Because <laughs> yeah, yeah, they looked gonna, horrible. They struggle, yeah. Um, and then Juventus beat Como 3 0. That's an excellent one to quickly talk about. Yeah. Um, real quick. Flying start. Good start. And uh, um, uh, mate, Thiago Motta there. Um, the fact that Waya gets his first goal for the club says a lot that it took Motta to come in and get him a goal. Um, <laughs> Can't be us so fantastic. Got a goal late on yep. as well. Uh, and Mbangula, who I, again, never heard of this, but never I can't, heard of can't him. even claim I've But that's heard that's Motta, just like, bro. What a that, coach, man. That guy. It was around like 51 as well, the number. Like, that's when you know he was a real like, yeah. academy player. Absolutely belting finish, cutting in off that left hand side. Set up Cambiasso's goal, which was the third one. Um, and was pivotal to the um, way of going. Mm. He. Stepped over, yeah. or Flavi Flavi, stepped over. He was the one that put the ball yeah, in. Yeah, like, my God. Like, what a game. He's actually younger. surprised me. I, I've underrated him, can't be us. So. Yeah. I've always <laughs> thought, no, he's just a bits and pieces player. Yeah. But no, he's actually, I rate him. I, think, I think he is a bits and pieces, but, but Mott is making But yeah, him, yeah. Hit the million buck getting on the ball he in different spots. I know, yeah, obviously this whole thing, match week one, it's... Yes. But, but yeah, he looked um, under Motto. It's, it's just exciting how they play. Like, it, it was not dross. It was not a 1-0. It was... Good attacking football. Yeah. 
it was positive. It was, you know, they kept the ball at times, but they were all passes were going forward and they were moving. And Douglas Lewis was on the bench as well. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah. they got that luxury of just because of how good Motto is as a coach and how much he backs his system. They can just slowly ease these players in, and they could be closer to the title than. I mean, we don't. Yeah, we'll know us to probably ten games. Yeah. but, you know. I guess the the three thing I think of is firstly Como, but all the attacking that only had three shots on goal. Como it's towards the end, as and well, all towards it? the end. Yeah. Um, it almost sounds stupid, but it was actually I was actually happy there was no Vlahovic goals because it wasn't so Vlahovic central. Yeah, it was a team attacking performance, uh, and thirdly. Like, you're still going to see better from two rounds. I think you can see him being much oh, better yeah. last week. Yeah, yeah. Douglas always came off the bench. And you're still working out who are your players in this squad. Yeah. And they still yet perform really, really well. And I think that goes down to the man management of Motta. Because mm. that word gets thrown around a lot. And it's sort of thrown out in a bit of a negative term for, like, like Ole Gunnar Solskjaer was a man manager. Lampard's a man manager. Yeah. It's, it's sort of like the manager's shit, but they can, they're good around the lads. But he's good. <laughs> but he's good, and like he's got the tactical brain. But he must man manage well because each player, like Mbangula, never heard of him, mm. came in and played a fantastic. Well, Kambi also fantastic. Vlahovic was fine, not being the focal center of attention. Yeah. You've got Douglas Luiz happy to come off the bench and play a role. Mm. Like he must just get across his message and his system so easy to the players because mm. a system like his and how sophisticated and unique and one of a kind it is, I couldn't imagine them. Belting Como 3 0. And I know Como are a million bucks, but still, something about promoted teams first game of the season, they're up and about for yeah. yep. 3 0. And it yeah, could have been more. Oh, it could have been, yeah. I we we did get the Vlahovic goal, but it was, oh, it was, it was a great awesome. ball. Oh, a great ball. That was Kambi um, ball, wasn't it? But yeah. It, it wouldn't shock me at all if Vlahovic was golden boot. It, like, he's going to get a lot of chances. Mm-hmm. He, he already had a lot of chances. He hit the post, I think, with a. The header, I think, gave him a oh, couple of good saves. It was Rain um, save, and, and then, then he hit, yeah. yeah. Um, so yeah, they're going to be exciting. I was, I think, uh, I think you were worried as well about their forward line, mm. not, not enough. But from that game, it, they got some exciting players there. So oh, I've was, never heard somebody's going yeah. to their plan, buddy. Well. See how they turn out. It's going to be hard with um, Champions League football as well. But Motta's Motta's a hell of a coach, man. <sighs> I'm just going to look at some of the, like the, the squad Even here. just the feel around the club. The feel around the game felt positive. It just the felt... The was full. Yeah, it just felt <laughs> so much better. Yeah, like, I, I, <laughs> if I'm not mistaken, I don't remember it being full a lot towards the back end of last season. It was dross. Well, it was... Oh, a lot of empty muddled. seats. Really, qu- like... I think the fans were exhausted, football, yeah. to be honest. I'd be exhausted <laughs> watching that. I'd be yeah. you know, exhausted with Louis Van Hal for one season, let alone... <laughs> <laughs> All these in the legacy. So D Gregorio's in goal. That's his keeper. Yeah. So that's just my tick. Yep. Can't be ice look fantastic. Gutsy and Bremer. Cabal. That was a, that was a, it was a yeah. way to put the ball yeah. in for um Vavic. Yeah. He was great at um oh gee, the, the last club was that. Locatelli was probably probably the worst player on the pitch for them. Um he <laughs> yeah, was he was, he was did they, they, so they got two of them, they've got Douglas Lewis. I swear they signed another midfielder. Did they not? We were talking the other day, weren't we? Uh Fajoli, no. No, here they no. Who they signed? I swear they signed another midfielder because we're like, oh, Locatelli might not even start. They, 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 I, they I have swear to, they did. They have someone else. I don't think he played. <laughs> oh, I don't, right. I don't know. The I Juventus swear signs. they signed someone else. No, because they, they signed three because we thought could all three start. Yeah, Turam Louise. Who are they? There's so, there's someone else. I had to look on transfers, but I couldn't find him. I knew there was the Monza keeper, and then there was yeah. Wait, the there's two. no one here. I swear, I swear we're missing someone. We were here last week saying yeah, this. Yeah, so. I don't remember who right, it was. Juventus though. squad. I'm, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to find <laughs> we'll this We'll get man. to the bottom we'll of get, this. We're not going to... Oh, who I, was... Who was it, man? I swear. <laughs> but I looked on transfers and I couldn't find it. So, I, I don't know. I don't know. Look at Telly. Arta. Did we, we, was it Rabio? It wasn't Rabio because he's gone. He's... Fajoli's there. Do you put Fajoli in? I thought it was someone like well known. I thought they signed someone sick. <laughs> Kefran two round Douglas Wade, Locatelli. We're not true. Uh, Fagioli. No, they. Oh, okay, fair it enough. Must be Fagioli because he. Maybe maybe it is him. Maybe it was him. Yeah. Oh, j- yeah, but if it that's Phil. Oh, uh, I'm gonna be this entire. The rest of this, I'm gonna be podcast yeah. next last week because we had yeah. it all listed out. The rest of this podcast, that's all I'm gonna be thinking about. By the way, like, unless they've loaned someone, we thought they wouldn't loan. I don't know. I, that's that's got that's, me. You've got you've got me there. <laughs> what? 
Oh, yeah. that's that's confusing. That is confusing. Uh, yeah. uh, Paul Pogba was the one. <laughs> <laughs> Drugs himself. Yeah, man. Um, but they um, were very, good old very days. impressive, you eh? They were, yeah. Um, oh, what did any real quick? Any concern on Inter or Milan? AC more than Inter. Yeah, you fine with Inter? Like, it was still. I think tough away day. Yeah, first just one day of those, the handballs on Lucky just kind of happens. <sighs> And it's one of those games, I feel like another day they can easily win that game. If you score a couple in a row yeah, and you sort of hold whole yeah. station rather than conceding and then mm. the later on as well. Even like, the, t- like later the on first goals, that's the first mistake I've ever seen someone have oh, so, yeah. in an inter shirt. And then the second goal, the, the penalty happens. Yeah. Um, um, I, it's obviously worrying, but it's not like alarm. But I, whereas I think AC is closer to alarm bells. Yeah, just that's... At home... It didn't look like it for 85 And never minutes. really at the races. And again, the goals come from <clears throat> random, mm. random situations. It's not like a, like Morata's goal is just his foot hits the ball. Like he, he, he did not, re- he reacted yeah. after the ball hit him. So it, like, they're not well-worked goals and it's not a fantastic foot. But it's that little bit of what AC's been the last yeah, year. it has. That's why like, I know Pioli, it probably made sense to get rid of him, but I wouldn't see any difference yeah. in Pioli Fonseca, performance. Um, Fonseca, yeah, Fonseca wasn't there. the greatest start. I, I think it's more of a project than what we think though. I think because... Yeah. Juve were so bad, Napoli being so bad, and Fiorentina aren't quite in that group. It feels like AC are closer than they actually are. Yeah, that's I a think good point. a long way. I like that. Yeah, that's what I said. A long way off yeah. it. Because again, like, Marat is put, your yeah. big signing. We it's, put them third, but it's, it's it's there's no convincing reason as to why. I mean, not into like. It's because the others just shoulders. aren't. Yeah. Like, Atlanta got Champions League, and, yeah. and maybe they could and be I, a, and a I jump regret in. not putting them higher now as well because they yeah. play well fantastic week and they mm. belted up that So it's an interesting. League, it's very hard to match day one, all the draws, but it's funny because teams have played <clears throat> somewhat <clears throat> worse than I expect. I yeah. thought it was a bit of a, a step up for some of them, but yep. yeah, all in all, I think a lot to be uh, looked at in future yeah, weeks. A, a league we'll look at a lot next week is the Bundesliga, but the Super Cup yep. was on the weekend, and this was probably the most entertaining game of football all weekend. I would say so, yeah. And I'd what a surprise, so. it was uh, two entertainers themselves, Leverkusen and Stuttgart. I think it's been a combined. 13 or 15 goals in the last three games, these two sides. That's crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. It was like a 3 3 last year. Yep. This was a 2 2. I think the other one was a 2 1 to Lever- uh, something like that. It's, it's yeah. been ridiculous, though. This is one of the great modern rivalries. Oh, Hernes I like versus it. Alonso. Alonso. Uh, I like it. The Bay Arena. It just <laughs> felt like it was, we were back. Football it, was, back oh, it was a hell of a game, wasn't it? What a hell game of a game. Football. Um, we'll go, I'll go run through what happened. So, uh, Plotho Chance, Leverkusen, and Leverkusen minute finally got the goal. Taps over got done dirty, but <laughs> <laughs> so you just chucked his foot and I'll take the goal myself. Um, and then Derimovic nearly drew them level in the 13th minute. He was a new signing for them up top. Yep. So exciting to see how he does. Enzo Milo then drew them level in the 15th minute. Middle stats ball, fantastic. Yeah. Cutting the ball back. You always forget that they still have these players. He's still there. Like, yeah. Mitchell uh, stats uh, there, Undav's there. Yeah. I, I love the new striker that they've got. It's good. the same mould as Garassi, I think. Better Bremen, I think, last yeah. season. It was at, it's the same mould, I like it. He's tall. Yeah. Again, he's not, probably not as quick yeah, because, no. and like... Electric as Garassi, but he's going to be that put it away striker. Yeah, I like um, it. Milo coming as at the, at the edge of the box. Fantastic cut back in the middle. So that 15 minute equaliser there. Um, Dermemovic then missed a big chance coming off the post in the 23rd minute. Yeah. Terrier was sent off in the 37th minute. That's where mm. the game was flipped. Boniface yeah. comes off. Um, they brought on. What did they bring on in his place? I think they brought another. It was Jonathan Tarr came oh, on because it was a on. crazy ovation yeah. when he came on. So I think now he's staying. Or he was oh, he sport. should. I mean, why Why wouldn't you stay? I, I would <laughs> stay. He got treated like a king. When he came on, yeah, that reception was crazy. Um, Furich, um, then Denan by Uh Milo, then acrobatic, like bicycle kick, just went over the cross, but it was chances galore yep. just before half time. Um, uh, I mean, Adley then missed a massive chance in the 56th minute. Put his shot wide, and then our boy Undav off the bench, first touch, sixty third minute. What a player, man! Sneaking at the back post, Kratzik's ball in the area. This young kid's <clears> pretty handy, though, yeah, Kratzik. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Undav scoring there, and then who else? When the game's on the line, the Bay Arena, night time, the Jews start to show up. You feel like you're losing a game of football. Patrick Step Schick. up, Patrick Schick, square head himself. <laughs> <laughs> this this guy, man, is a He's freak. Inevitable. He is if there was a Ballon d'Or for best player of the year from the 85th minute to the end of the game, he would. Um, so he would win it. How many <laughs> goals has this guy scored after like oh. the 85th minute? He's called. He's, he's Bro, caused 
um, Stuttgart province and Karabakh had nightmares about him for the last yeah, literally. six months. It's a joke. This guy <laughs> just <laughs> scores. He looks like the most average footballer half shit. the time when I watch him. <laughs> but his finishing in the ninth minute it's is ridiculous. incredible. Like, that is a hard finish. That finish cannot go. That's well, a tough finish. I think you watch, he goes and wins the ball for the team. Because yeah. he... he I think there was a 50-50, keeps the ball in from the, from the bar line, drops it off to, um, I think it was Verts, Yeah. who turns, he continues his run from like 40 yards and just continues running. It's a great goal, wasn't it? And <laughs> just drops goal. it, oh, I'll tell you what, Verts, just drops the ball off perfectly for him. Yeah. In his stride, whacks it in. You usually expect to go across, but nah. finished it near Almost post. went to the ankle, it's always very hard to save down there, yeah. right? And like the, per- the oh. perfect spot to put it, but... Work rate I mean, rewarded. It's just, it's just typical Leverkusen. Like they looked, they looked brilliant as always. They were playing good football. Mm. Fring Pong missed a couple of chances. You expect too, yeah. him to do at least a bit better. Yep. Um, but as far as I'm concerned, Stuttgart they didn't lose any. I know they were down to ten men, Leverkusen, but I still liked how they played, Even especially with how men. many players they've lost. Yes. On another day, they they win that. So it's, they're just coming up against a freak when they hit the 80th minute. Like it's. We've seen this. We've seen this story before. It's been written. Oh. You know, <laughs> we've seen a fair few times before fair, this. <laughs> it's been written more than once. I think. Yeah. Um, but yeah, both teams for me impressed big time. I was I was very happy with both teams. I know about just, you, but that's just football. Yeah. Uh, like, uh, it was just good football. The, like, the, the Bundesliga teams. and, and like yeah. their team just just delivers football. So you got this is the team, and it's a very exciting team. So Nubel was still in goal. Um, back four was a little bit different. So Stenz was at right back. Mitchell Stat left back. Uh, Chabot and we were out at centre half. Stiller and Krasor in midfield. So Trap that Krasor. He's... Yeah. faces. Yeah. Uh, Enzo Milo looks like he's playing a bigger role this season for the number 10. Uh, Chris Furic is still there. Yep. Leverling still there yep. for them. Kratzik, who came off the bench for me, was fantastic, the young guy. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, missed the penalty in the penalty shootout, but he was very good. Mm. Um, Silas, still that bench, you know, speed type player. Mm. And Undav as well. So they're still... Like, it's still a strong squad. I don't think I was but very harsh They've got... Going forward, like the attacking it's side of the it, same. they've still got the same. It's yeah. just defensively. If they can hold up defensively, which I still think they looked all right. Defen- I think they look good. I think, yeah, they look good. Yeah, yeah. I th- I think they'll be in the mix for the top four again. I think, like, yeah, I think I underrated them. They could be better than And your, your manager, who you put oh, in earlier, top, when we started God. this, you put him top 10, and that, is a, that, is a, that was a great shout, love, by the way. Love the guy. He, he is serious. He's a genuinely good coach. No one talks when about that. If Pep leaves, I reckon he that's could. Great, mm. I reckon he could seriously get that job because that's a good job. With what he's doing, with limited money, yeah, and City don't well, under Pep, but they don't go and spend five, six, you know, go and get five, six players anymore. Yeah. It's just just one touch up, yeah. Which is, I mean, yeah, I I think he's. If Pep was leaving right now, I would have him as my number one. I love think. that. Oh yeah, I mean, bro, he's he gets his serious. Teams, it's not Pep in terms of the way that, that, that he gets him working. He gets yeah. him working hard, organized, and they've got that just zing in the final third. It's not, but it's, I don't know how to. It's not like anyone else's yeah, no. type of. Fo- it's very interesting, but it works. Yeah, it's committing the fullbacks off when they need when they need to go, they'll go. Yeah. that will go. Um, but equally as important as the midfield, the midfielders are so important for this yeah. team. It's just control. I think they control the game really well. In yeah. key moments, that play it must be one of the hardest. Part. I, the noise that comes oh. across through the broadcast, oh. I couldn't imagine trying to play a game, Ridiculous. control a game of football over there. But they were doing their best. Watch, it, watching like the mini match, I had to turn down my volume on my like, laptop because, yeah. <laughs> bro, it's like <laughs> ridiculous, man. It's so loud. Saying, like, like the reception of the entire game, like it was almost like it was meant to be. Like Freeman obviously missed that chance, but someone felt it was supposed to go on the back of the net in that ninety first minute because it mm. was like. Leverkusen is inevitable. They're coming, they're yeah. coming, they're coming. They've got the players. And they brought in some superstars. Verts, Ronaldo, <laughs> Fringpong. Yeah. Um, Tell, I think, came on as well. Like, there's a lot of players yeah. that came on and thinking, like, oh. Which is, it's impressive. For they still hold on. The fact that Leverkusen still played so well with all those players. I think no one loses this. This is, yeah, both exactly. teams are fantastic. <laughs> Just give both. They should have both been on the, on yeah, the stage. Get them both on the podium. <laughs> lift a trophy each. Just let the managers lift it because they're, they're serious unbelievable. Serious managers. Serious, yeah. you, You're right. No one's talked about Hernes yet. Has to you, be. you were the first one. You. you <laughs> Quote me that. On it was like, what, our second, second episode? When we top 10 managers, was I, was I chucked it, him number 10. Was that our second like, episode? Yeah, I think you chucked so. Him, you chucked him 10th. And I was I, like, oh, uh, maybe a little bit early. Because I had Alonso 10th. I yes. thought that was early. Yeah. 
But you had him. Cause I, cause yeah. I left someone out for him as well. I don't think I you had. The um, big name out. Uh, so how do I have Simeone in? No, I had Simeone. No, you had Simeone. Um, I had two shoes. You, ha- I didn't have two shoes. I had, had two shoes as well. You so had two four. I had a lot of <laughs> shoes at that age. Well. So let's forget the top four. Let's just remember I had Sebastian Hernandez number you had ten. Number ten. Yep. And I didn't. So I, we know I, who the real I, intellect is I, here. I, th- I think it'll be interesting. You know what? He'll be <clears> definitely in my top ten if he can oh, prove it with this squad oh, this season. He might be in my top five. That that would be pretty <laughs> great if he can do that. Yeah. Yep. Because again, that'll be, that'll be interesting when we do that again. Yeah, I've if saved it again, again towards the back end of the back year again. End, so yeah. we're, got, we're going to have a lot of info to go A lot of info. Yeah. So, we'll, so it should be spot on. Yeah, it can't be wrong. Can, yeah. Impossible. We'd we'll, we'll never get it wrong. Never. We wouldn't have Verona third. Oh. I don't know. Never. Top three. Who, like, uh, who would even consider doing that? <laughs> Not us. Um, <laughs> yeah, as I say, uh, keep me on Kratzik. <clears throat> this is the guy. I'm gonna, this is my, yeah. new, my, new, my new favorite kid on the block. In the I think he's going to be a very, very good, very good game. I'm shattered he missed that penalty. But all in all, when he yeah. came on, uh, hey, at on. least he took it. At least he had the balls oh, yeah. to take it. So. Rafferty the balls the other day. It was yeah. a fair play to him exactly. stepping up. Um, all right, let's finish off here. Like always, finish off something exciting. With our grading big clubs transfer windows. I've written on the page. <laughs> <laughs> rating some of the, the major teams transfer windows. Um, <clears throat> it's, a, it's, it's a funny one because, again, <clears throat> I'm saying off air, yeah. they haven't made massive signings, these clubs, to the sheer amount of signings. Mm. Gone are the days if you sign eight players and them for one club and one club only. Um, but yeah, it'd be interesting how we both see their windows. Yeah, I've taken into account a little bit some of the outgoings as well. I yeah, like I, I've I've done both. Yeah, yeah. Um, but let's have a look. Um, Starting with Barcelona at top. How have you gone with Barcelona? I was deliberating between a C plus and a B minus. Same here. I went with a B minus. Same here. Nice, <laughs> good. Um, obviously, I, I can't flick as. I, I sort of oh, count yeah, it that's in fair, a way. No, that's fair enough. Yeah, like, um, right. So obviously Flick coming in, Olmo coming in is big. Um, no Nico Williams, I think it's a bit, a bit mm-hmm. annoying. Um, didn't re-sign Cancelo or Felix. Um, and then I think I, I think I was close to putting C plus because the way that let Gundu and Lee fight well, in a way because you yeah. got the youngsters coming through. Yeah, but for free. Like, I didn't I think consider this. I. I didn't think of, when I made this initially. That's why that. I was borderline. Yeah, I was so close to going C. Okay, plus. I won't change it, but in my head, I've changed yeah. to a C plus because Gundogan for me is still one of the top yeah, thirty. He's still in the world. unbelievable, and he he's one of those. He doesn't with the squad you have. If you want to play the young players, fine, but Gundogan doesn't need to play his thirty matches anymore. He's playing you know Champions League football. Yeah, and then they've let a couple of youngsters go. I think that one guy's gone to Bournemouth. I think. Oh, Hoichin. No, Rajo. Julian Rajo. Yeah, uh, and then they lost. To Chelsea, yeah. Was, oh, I don't think he's good anyway. Again. Yeah, but but the, the Renault right, shot, yeah. I, I rate um, him a lot. But I, in terms of an actual like player transfer, I think it's a C plus. But I think Flick edges yeah. to a B. I yeah, think it's. Fair. I think he's just a hell of a coach. I think he'll do a good job there. They've done well so, there when they what they got considering yeah. considering Pine got <laughs> yeah. company and Deserbi ended up at Marseille. Yeah, so out of all the options and what could have happened, the chaos that could have yeah. ensued. They've probably come out well and truly with yeah. us from that. I think quite considered that, but that's probably valid. Let's, yeah. Yeah, we'll go with B minus for that. Yeah, B minus. I think Olmo was necessary. Yeah. So if you had Nico, it becomes like an A. I th- almost, yeah, almost I think it's... A, yeah, a, yeah, a, yeah, if you go from there. Yeah, 100%. It's crazy what one player can do. Um, <laughs> Literally, yeah. Good for them. Atleti. Uh, I went with A. <sighs> I was very... I went A plus. Oh, I, you went with yeah. A plus. I went with A. Um, obviously, Alvarez, Gallagher, um, Sorloth. Uh, there's another one. Lenormand coming yes, in. Yes, Lenormand. Which is brilliant. Morata leaving and uh, I think Felix. I think that's it. I yeah. Don't, I don't I think, think there's anyone else significant. Yeah. And then I think they sold some some other fringe players. Um, it, oh, maybe it could, maybe it should be an A+. Plus, but yeah, I've just gone with A. I just, I just think it's an A transfer. Yeah. I think... Like you still spent a lot of money on on these players, you That's know. True. Like you spent Gallagher. I think I think he's forty mil, isn't he? Something like that. That's a bit ridiculous. Um, Soloth was about the same. That's a region, about yeah. About the same, the mark, yeah. Uh, I think Lionel Marron was about twenty, twenty five. Yeah, twenty seven, twenty eight. Um, so still spent still spent a lot of money on them. It's about what two hundred million all up. Yeah, maybe so they were the top spenders. I'm pretty yeah, sure. So. Again, AA pass. It's still yeah. It's still a very yeah. good, very good window. I guess you could you could argue the case is A because how the hell do you get them all playing together? Maybe that's yeah. You can argue yeah. that. But in terms of on paper, I, l- I love the Gallagher signing. 
way I was yeah, dealt at Chelsea. It's an really upgrade. Harsh. It is an upgrade. They've dealt that. Yeah. He dealt at Chelsea. I think Chelsea's best midfielder of last season. So you get him. Yeah. Probably a bit steep. Thirty million is probably a reasonable ballpark. But you know, you get him for forty. There's a bit of FFP shit going on there. Yeah, so exactly. you both shake hands. You're happy. Um, you get Alvarez, who we could be one of the best strikers in the world. We don't know yet. We've yeah, never we seen know. him on his own <laughs> playing. Yeah. And you've got La Liga's best striker in Zor. So yeah. And then you got Lena Man, best centre back for Spain. I think at the the Euros, yeah, I think yeah, made yeah. Laporte look really good in my eyes. I think he's yep. really good covering off <clears throat> again La Liga proven talents. You're not like getting players from England or the Bundesliga game. Will they fit in La Liga? Like you're getting yeah. La Liga players that uh, at home. So I think it's a really good window. And I think my whole question is, can Simeone? That's, I think the That's, transfer window is yeah. a. It's if, if Simeone can produce, or yeah. can the other players live up to expectations? Is more the, the yeah. problem there. Hundred percent. The other big boys, Real, Real I an A plus. Yeah. yeah. Of Zero the, yeah. from Mbappe. Mbappe <laughs> for free. Yeah. Endrick. Um, yeah, 30? I think they, yeah, I think something 30, like that. Yeah. Um, they, I believe they only lost Hosselu and oh, Nacho yeah. to Saudi. Yeah. I think that's it. Hosselu lost probably a C-minus now. I'll have to regret it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Champions, Champions League. Champions League. Champions League, yeah. <laughs> um, and they kept all their players, like, like the youngsters, like Gulo and... Yeah, um, that's the thing that I kept. My mind. Uh, Brahim Diaz, they kept all them, so... Yeah, nothing wrong. With, like, that's exactly just the, probably the best transfer out of the lot. Yeah, that's what out of my head. That was my big point. You didn't lose anyone. Yeah, you literally didn't lose anyone. There's yeah. an opportunity um, for some players to go away. They're on loan or for a fee, but you've got every single player available. So if you have an injury crisis, do not fear. Yeah, you've got everybody there. Yeah. Um, into Milan. I feel like I'm contradicting myself with this one. I went A minus. Oh, gee, but I've gone a long way off I, this. Oh, really? Yeah, I went a C plus. Oh shit. Yeah. Oh, I thought you were going to do A plus because it's similar I was to Madrid, positive. where they haven't lost yeah, anyone. Lost they anyone. just see because I was I've, big on it last week. See, I flipped on it from last week. <laughs> <laughs> you made me. You convinced me though because uh, every Champions League team feels like they've got better. Yeah. And like they've had a midfield quality, but is it yeah. an upgrade on the midfield? I was going to go B, but I was like. You know, I, mean, I, I, I can't, I can't, I can't, it's probably I can't do that because I've given Madrid an A, like obviously they bring Mbappe, like they got yeah. significantly better, you'd think. But with it, obviously bringing Zielinski, Toremi, and I believe there's another, there was another free one. There's another midfielder as well another there. Midfielder, Zielinski, you said? Yeah. Fratesi. Fratesi. Yeah. And obviously Toremi for free. I don't think they did any, anything else. They didn't lose anyone yeah, of significance. Anyone, yeah. I think you're but the, I'm the, being very The harsh. reason why it's not an A or an A plus is because they didn't do the... Not saying they should have got Danny Almo, but a player of that yeah, cool. quality, just to add, like, to go further in the Champions League. Because yeah, when you've got a squad this good, yeah. A bit harsh, haven't I? Yeah. But yeah. I don't know. It's just because I feel hard. like they, they need another superstar in that spine, in the spine yeah. somewhere. Oh, that's, that's, what it, that's, that's, that's the frustration, though, yeah. isn't it? Because they're yeah. so good. But, but the manager's fantastic. But they need that. System. But they've never done, they've never done that. Yeah. That's the thing. They've and never. maybe that's being harsh. Yeah, I'm, I'm, like that, that's their club, right? Yeah. This is all because literally this summer last week I was the other way around. <laughs> but because uh, when I was editing it back and listening to what you said, I'm like, yeah, well, no one, they've had, they're not taking major steps. They've taken steps forward in the league in terms of depth. Yeah. Quality, that, Serie A players, yeah, like that's the Yeah. Um, Taremi will be, a, abs- I think it'll be a superstar for Serie A. Like, he'll, yeah. he'll fit the pace of the league. But in the Champions League, I agree, like Atleti's yeah. better, Real's better, Arsenal's better. Um, mm. pff, never know with Liverpool, they might get better. City are better. Yeah. Like they, your direct competitors, yeah. right? I think Juventus well, I think, are better. I think we're both because I think it's an A. I think in terms of a league transfer, yeah, it's, yeah. A, it's an yeah. A. But we a want plus. them to win Champions. But for <laughs> for a Champions League, it yeah. probably is a C plus because they haven't. Yeah. Where's your old? Where's still, your Kimmich? Yeah, where's exactly. That sort of player, right? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So that's just a great. There's two sides of it. Yeah. There's two sides. Of two, it. sides of it. Yeah. two sides of it. Two sides of the story there. Yeah. Um, <laughs> we walk across the other side of the change move in San Siro to AC Milan. I went B. I've been hard. I don't see. Yeah, it's I think just I, th- not I think I think I've gone too nice on them to be honest. Because I looked at their transfers, they brought in. I've I've considered Fonseca as well yep. coming in for Pioli. Yes, yeah. Um. Who, God knows how he's even going to do. To be honest. Yeah. Um. Dark. Bringing in uh, Maratta, Maratta, Emerson, Emerson uh, Fafana for Monaco. The DM. Recent, that's a good move. Yeah. Um. They lost lose Giroud to MLS. They lose to Ketzler permanently to that's, Atlanta. I think that's a big thing for me. I think I've been too nice on them. Because, again, in my head is AC Milan, they'll finish third. I think the players that they've bought, maybe maybe not Emerson in a way, because mm. they've got um, uh, Calabria out there and stuff like that. But like Fafana could be better in their midfield and 
obviously you bring Morata into the place of Giroud, so it's still pretty good. Yeah. But it's like, it's gonna, it's, they're going to finish third, you know? <laughs> so how bad actually is it? But yeah. it, it's all about the next. You can hit the <laughs> next step, yeah. And maybe it's just a case of. So I think I've been too nice on them. The manager wants to know what he what the team's what he's about. Got. It's almost yeah. like, and that's what I said it earlier. Maybe I think it's more of a project than what we think. Yeah, I think it's a deeper rooted <laughs> problem. This club they're trying to yeah. get back to the top, right? Like it, the catch left man. It was never it was never gonna really sickly stay at Milan, but seeing him go is like you've lost the one of the better strikers, yeah. the versatile strikers in the league. He was always gonna go back to Atalanta, to be honest. But still, seeing still, it that leave I the think books. They got tw- twenty two million, yeah, something like that. Something like, yeah. So it's, I mean, you could. I think they probably should have asked for more. You could have got. Like, he, I think you got up to thirty. I think you could have got thirty. I'm saying <laughs> that because Kupmann has actually left. Yeah, no. But if he had left, I think you could easily have asked for thirty yeah. plus, right? But he, I mean, he wasn't even on the bench again. He wasn't on the bench. Oh, okay. Kupmann, I didn't so. see it on the bench. Okay. It's like it's like similar to Osman. Osman hasn't left. Waiting game. Waiting that one. exactly. Yeah, domino effect. I think yeah, I think I've been too nice on Milan. You like because it's like, like ha- Milan. Yeah, I, I think I've been too nice. I think yours is bang on too. I, I, I just think it's just it's just an average win. Like see, like CFA is always average, right? They've just done yeah. the job, right? They bought a for Fana probably is a bit of an upgrade. So probably maybe it's a C plus in that regard. But Murata you've got Rata for Giroud. I mean, Giroud was unbelievable for I them as well. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. The Ketzler leaves. Yeah, yeah. No, I've niced them. I've niced them. Yep. Yeah. yeah, I'm. I'm, I'm happy with it. Way too no, generous on AC. You're positive. You just go for the boys. Way too generous. What am I doing? I actually thinking about it. Yeah, well, yeah, it is a C. It is a C. Yeah. Juve next. It might be different again there because I think uh, I've been harsh on them. I went B plus. Oh, I went B plus as well? B+. Okay, okay, yeah, good, yeah, good, yeah. good, good, There we go. There yeah, we go. We great again. Um, yeah, obviously Louise, Turam. Yeah. The keeper from Monza on loan. Well, yep. I, I think the way that they've handled the, the Chesney, like the ripping up of the contracts, I'd quite like it in a way in, yeah, I quite yeah, like yeah. it especially when you know how good the manager did last year you, mm. you got to back him in right yeah um, yeah I think obviously the reason why it's probably not an A for me is up front still yeah. haven't really <laughs> even if they just bought one player I'd probably like give it an A minus they're waiting for Chiesa to go almost yeah again Domino what's it is it with Syria and Syria's just holding shit up yeah, bro. <laughs> they're holding a lot up you know what? Cabal's a big get as well for me. I'm really happy. Yeah, get. yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I, I sort of knew a bit about him, but now watching him yeah. play for you, and I think they're getting Kalu from AC Milan. I Kalu uh, for like four mil. It's either that's a loan a, with an option or it's four get. mil. So again, he defensive depth. So, so I don't know if that's well. actually confirmed, but I think it's like close that's, to here we go. Or well, there we land. Should I say? There we land. There we land. There we land. But yeah, again, that would be great for them. Yeah, but they're still. Uh, it wouldn't sh- shock me if they was sort of go out and buy. I think they do want to go buy a winger. It's just waiting for Chiesa, Chiesa to Chiesa go. They just get someone, right? So, yeah, but yeah, very good, very good winger. I like very it. Yeah. A yep. B plus with a possibility A minus. Yeah, like. yeah. Um, City. City. A-, a minus for the City. A minus. A minus. Yeah, yeah, no, I feel. I went B. Yeah. B. Oh, B. Yeah. Sign Savio. And Savio for me is alone. Savio would be A. Yeah. yeah. Like because he's Alvarez. That's but the yeah. The, the way I look at it is the profit they got on him. Is yeah, it's a lot of huge. it's a lot of money. Like they bought him for what, fifteen mil? And the sort of so, seventy five plus is, add-ons. Yeah, so ridiculous. yeah, sixty plus. Bring in Savio, potentially getting back Gundogan. Oh, nothing, okay. Which okay. is That's which is which, yeah. is which is why All right, I, I've gone a with then. the A minus. It's an A then. Um lost okay. a little bit of depth, you could say, in Phillips on loan, Kuto gone, <laughs> and there was Gomez to Sociedad, the left back, but he he signed and disappears straight away. I, can say one I don't think again. I saw him play once. Yeah, um, away again. And Cancelo back in the squad. He's Apparently, he's been training well. Here's <laughs> the thing. Here's the thing. I read the article, and it looks like it's good. But apparently, he listened to it. It sounds a bit more like let him sound good to sell him, sort of thing. Yeah, but. I've literally Wait, got Cancelo if, back in the squad with about ten question marks. Well, if Cancelo, so, is back, if Cancelo so, is back. That's nuts. Never know. You never know. Because he like could be useful. He could be useful. He won't play. Rico Lewis was fantastic. You got Ake and Gavardio, who, you know, are just unbelievable. Rico uh, Lewis got in, looked fantastic. He and he's he, the young Cancelo. He right? is unbelievable. unbelievable. He's more accomplished on the ball than Cancelo, but yeah. that's that same sort of. Mold. I feel like they're committing to. I said it's the Flynn on the, on the Monday pod. It's the left side's three centre backs, and the right <coughs> back is your attacker. Yeah. So it's Rico Lewis could be Jack Cancelo. Oh, or whoever they want to chuck in there. That's yeah. your attacking 
defender. So Cancelo could fit. And I wanted to, I, mean, I wrote this down because I didn't want to forget, they kept Edison and De Bruyne. Yeah, 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 valid. Very so, valid. Yeah. Very, very I valid. I think that's, I think that's pretty important. So, uh, yeah, this is probably an A then, because well, if Gundo, I'm assuming he is basically done already, Gundo for free. For, for wages, <laughs> for free. For wages, crazy. <laughs> I can't wait till they go undefeated from Christmas onwards because yeah. he just killed it after Christmas. Do you know, is Savio injured bad? Because I know he got taken off half time. Is it just a precaution? I, I hope so because he, he was cooking. He, 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 was, he cool. was unbelievable. <laughs> he was going to, because everyone's saying um, that like the swap was good for Doku, but it's underrated that Savio just swapped mid-game. Yeah. It was great. Oh, mate, he's... We've both been big. Like he's going to be so fun to watch. Things what City need: X Factor player, oh, just man. not just boring. Down, yep. you know. Yeah, he's different. yeah, yeah. Um, yep. All right, so I'm probably going under there with B. Um, Chelsea. What's the lowest rating you can give? Well, I sh- I, th- I think I should have gone F. I would put D, which I put D mind. because yeah. yeah. Like, let's go with F. Okay, F. F. There we go. Yeah, F. Yeah. I mean, they just stink. I ca- I also counted the Pochettino sacked thing. Yeah, and the rest count, are coming I, in. I'll count that as well. I mean, I don't care. Uh, Neto is a great. I think Neto is a great signing. Injuries aside. I yeah. think he's a great signing with the 15 other players that they signed, the seven keepers that they have. And that's another one as well. They got seven keepers and they still got a problem there. Yeah. Sanchez is supposedly who, who the best it? one. I think it was, um, was it Car- Yeah. I think Carragher said it as well. Carragher. Yeah. You've got, um, you signed these keepers, but who's your number one? Who's your number one? You, no you one tell me Sanchez one. is the best one they got. They signed, Actually. they spent, it was a 40 mil on Jorgensen. Jorgensen yeah. And he's on the bench. Yeah. I know. Like, like Villarreal well, taking back an half. He's bench. been there a while. He's been yeah. there like a good he, he two, two weeks. Yeah. Sure, yeah. So obviously Sanchez is the number one. Petrovic, I think, is was unbelievable last year for them in goal. Came into he was the good. Lunin and stuff. stuff. Um, but apparently he's not good enough on the ball. But would you rather a, a little bit less on the ball and a great shot stopper or can you just win games both? Football with, yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> when you play just, the ball. just the whole window's just been. I just hate them. like the the treatment of Gallagher yeah. and Chalabers. I don't think he's left, but he is going to leave. I think they'd be exiled. Though. Yeah, it's like, what the fuck? The, the the amount of still no world class striker. No, no world class keeper. No wing quality. No out yeah. and out wing quality. No for me. depth at left back. I yeah. think you Cucurella, who's still bang average. Yeah, Chilwell's, Chilwell's not not good enough anymore. Yeah, I think just yeah. I just think the end of transfers aging worse and worse yeah. by the and day as well. You lose Matson for nothing. He's I probably, think it's nothing. With to, what to they, about ball playing. He's double what they should. What he, thirty-five mil? He could easily be worth. Keep 70. the guy and play. Yeah. Why would you not keep him? It's yeah. this is the problem when you you've Lewis got, Hall as well. Yeah, for on a permit bag of chips. Like, oh, what are you going for twenty-five? It's, yeah, incredible. So sign fifteen players and it well, doesn't matter because it's still it's a the, horrible window. It's apparently it's the profit and sustainability. This is the this separate part. The profit and sustainability because they're homegrown talent. It's just net profit. Yeah, that's why Chelsea just shipping off all these like Chalabar. Um, Gallagher, yeah. um, Matson, all these because it's technically just net profit. Mm. And Bowley just plays books; he doesn't play football. He plays by the books. Yeah. So, see, so I've lain Chalaba, who Chelsea fans rave about, as one of their strongest centre backs. Matson, who I think would walk into their team at left back. Gallagher was their best midfielder. Yeah. Like Lewis Hall would fit in this team greatly in terms of ball playing. And he they, just shipped them all the off. T- the left backs they have. Now are worse than the two that they've sold. Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> it's uh, like it's so backwards. Yeah, it just and even the Sterling situation. No, it's a, it's like, chaos. That it is, is chaos. what is going on at that football club. And yeah. oh man, hate watch is real, but I'm, yeah. I'm so for it. It's yeah, it's. I mean, it's yeah, it's a shocker. It's a shocker. Changed to FA. I've certified it. Um, yeah. the next team is the Arsenal. A minus for me. Yeah, I've been. I'm a B minus. Oh, B minus. Okay. It's Califiori. That's it, isn't it? Well, I don't miss anyone, right? Califiori signed. Ray is on a permanent, which true, was okay, already. Okay, true, I true. mean, it was already going to happen. Yeah. And Marino, I think it's stored a little bit. Well, but uh, he's not there yet. I imagine that will happen, or they'll yeah. bring someone in. The reason why I don't have it as an A plus is the striker situation. Yeah. For me, yeah, they still need. And they didn't lose them. anyone besides ESR. ESR. I mean, and, uh, I just. Uh, it just right, right now is just Calafiori for me. It's right now yeah. it's just Calafiori, yep. and just like you're the second, you're still the second best team. Mm. You still got no winners. I feel like Ars- what Ars- going to take for Arsenal. I mean, it just sort of come over me the last few days. You just need a winner in there. Yeah, like you need like this is like it's not going to happen, but you need like a Fede Valverde. Like yeah. you need someone that you need <laughs> no. someone that has won things. No one's won anything there. Yeah. 
Like yeah. Zinchenko and Jesus have, but they were axed straight away. They didn't want mm. them anyway. They didn't want them there. They weren't the, the, they the weren't reason. Well, yeah, they, they exactly. were a, they side, were just, a side hustle. They were side hustles. Exactly. Yeah. They, were just, they were like the side piece. You look at it and yeah. you go, that's a cool little piece of art. You keep walking to the Picasso stuff, right? It's, they need something. Yeah. No, yeah. And I feel like Calvary is cooling on. We'll see about this off, uh, off air. He's probably the third choice right now. Yeah, no, I know. So I, Tots has cooked. because he's said, a bit of a... Yeah. Why would you want to be third? And it was Zinchenko started match day one, which, which I thought incredible. should never happen. I thought, you know, Timber would have walked <laughs> in there. Then Timber's after him. Then Calafiori's there mm. just doing his hair on the side. Seems like Calafiori is going to be that backup center back, third choice left back for the sort entire of the season. The Yakub of last year, yeah, right? Which sort of, is, yeah. like, and, and don't get me wrong, that's what you need to beat City. You need depth everywhere. But mm. if that's your only signing, and uh, I'm being devil advocate and I'm saying Marino's joined yet. Really? You know, I, I I get it. Yeah, that's. I don't know. Have I? Maybe I've been. I've been to Arsenal. Uh, I just of times, feel like I think. City are clear. Oh, uh, yeah. maybe that's me. In my opinion, this I reckon City are like even better. I think I've I've looked at this particularly Arsenal. Like they haven't lost anyone. Yeah, that's true. And they were so close to the Prem last year. It makes sense. Then just getting one should be enough. To yeah, tickle. But and I'm I'm banking on the fact that Marino will sign. Yeah, it's just the striker for me is the only <laughs> bit. If Marino signs still, so if it's Marino and Calafiori versus Savio, who do you reckon has a better window? I still think City has a better window. Probably City because Savio is freaking... different. Yeah. <laughs> he's a freak. Yeah. I think so. Yeah, probably Savio. Just especially for the money they got him for, like twenty five mil. That's some like, dodgy bro, shit. How the there. fuck has that happened? I'll never know. But I don't know. So yeah, fair. Oh, so you I'm can't have Tadebo, but they can have Savio. It makes sense. And for twenty million, yeah, <laughs> crazy man, um, crazy. The biggest club in the world, Manchester United. Next. United, I went A minus as well. Same here, A minus, yes. Yeah. Yeah, like um, right, Dalit, Masrawi, Xerxes, all brilliant individual signings will work in the team brilliantly. Again, the only reason why it isn't an A A plus is the DM. Need spot. a six, need a six. If Ugarte comes in, then it's definitely an A plus, which I think will happen. I think it'll be a loan. He's a loan to buy now. Um, Shame, and then you lose Cambuala, Varan, Wambasaka. It's not end of the world. It's stuff. not. Yeah, it's not. Significant yeah. enough to be derailing. If yeah. we're a massive Arsenal, Man City, yeah. you want to keep them for like exactly. a second or third string teams. We're playing Europa League football. Yeah, you got a, a got a bag of chips for Van der Beek, so you yeah. can't complain. It's all good. Yeah, all well, good at United. Five hundred k. We'll take good. that's a, yeah. that's that could fix the roof. Good, fix that roof. <laughs> And we're not doing Liverpool because I literally made no signings. Yeah, no, nah, so that would have been a C anyway. Yeah, literally or, or it's the same C minus probably for me. Oh, because of not. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Um, We'll quickly run through the last five here. Leverkusen. Leverkusen, A+. Plus. I went A-. Minus. Ooh, I went A+. Plus. No, went a- no, went A-. Minus. <laughs> that's, that's, that's harsh. It should be that. Yeah. Should I be that. went A+. Plus. Signed Terrio. Um, yeah. Garcia from Girona. That's a massive tick for me, yeah. And they signed some... They didn't sign Matip, I found out. I think that ended like a week ago. They're not signing him. They not signed some 19-year-old from, I think, not? the same club as Terrio was at in Ligue 1. He'll be a... Which, why not? 100 million pounds. Um, and they're keeping Tar anyway, so it's... Last thing, ooh, if Tar supposedly, stays, it's basically perfect. Um, didn't lose anyone, which is mor- just a miracle, considering the release clauses of some of their players, like Frimpong. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's an A-plus for me. Yeah, probably, so. probably a little bit. I just wanted one more, like, forward. Another forward? Yeah. 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 But saying that, we just talked about how Schick's in, in, inevitable, yeah. but... If I, if yeah. I think the only player they lost was um, Stanisic, who yeah. was the right back on loan on from loan. Bayern. But I think he's at Bayern. But evidently enough, I think he's I think he's injured for a couple of weeks. There you go. <laughs> it's like Leverkusen again. The, just, the Leverkusen that's why it's an A plus, bro. Just yeah. haunting Bayern, but <laughs> just cooking themselves. So, <laughs> um, Bayern. <sighs> I've got two. I, I've 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 still got two ratings. I've so got a C plus and a B minus. Now then, I've been B. I'll go B minus. I'll go B minus. They haven't lost anyone. No, they're still lit in that. Oh, no. And Masrari. Mas- oh, gee. But for me, Palinia, Elise. Actually, no, I'm going C plus. Yeah, C plus. Uh, yeah. I, yeah could, because of the Jonathan Tarr deal. Yeah. Like, they've, they've, been put, they've put all their focus on that. Yeah. And there's still areas of the pitch they need to improve. And even just leave it and go out and. They should have got Tadebo. They should have got someone else yeah. that was out there, you know. Um, you know, they signed Alise, uh, Palinia, and Ito. Ito from Stuttgart. Yeah. Obviously, lose Dalit Masrari, bringing company. Mm. <laughs> it, it's a, I'd say it's a B minus in, ter- in terms of 
transfers. But yeah. I just think with how long they took with that Jonathan Tyler deal, that never even, per, I think personal terms were agreed, but there was never a fee or anything. It was just wait for Dalit and Mesrawi. Yeah. But it, it, sure, I mean, there's no way he leaves now, surely. What's after the ovation that, he got of that game, I hope that, he doesn't. The fans don't deserve that. I yeah. didn't realise Kratzik's Kr- so. actually from Bayern. He's been loaned yeah. to Stuttgart. Damn. No, I'm... I'm yeah, you know what? You're right. Oh, I'm such an Elise guy, though. Damn, he's good. That's why I want to go B- minus again. Because <laughs> he's... Polinia and Elise are... I'll go, B, I'll go B minus. I'll go B minus. Let's go. Right, yeah, B minus. I'm going to go young. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to change him. But oh, yeah, I will go B. Yeah. I chose a good get. Not a fantastic get, but a good get. Yeah. Um, I think Paulini, I think Elisa is going to cook for them. He, apparently, I think Pellini will be his, good, but nothing brilliant. But I think Elisa will I think be. I think in the first two minutes since coming on on the weekend yeah. in, the, in the DFB Pokal. Yeah. Yeah. I and like they got, Pellini, they got and Stanisic, like, who could play right back, which yeah. allows Kimmich to play to midfield. To f- go back so. in midfield again, where which, we, I think which makes the team look could, better. Could work, yeah. Could work. Um, so B for them. <clears throat> yep. BVB. I think I've been a bit harsh. I've gone B. Yeah, I've gone A. Yeah, I think I've, I've been a bit Because Kuto and Max Bio, Bayer. Bio, Gross, Kuto, Grassi and Anton. Anton, I think. But I think they lose a lot of experience. Yeah, true. A lot. Like Matson and Sancho on that left were amazing yeah, for them. Yeah, true. Hummels is gone, who was their best centre-back during yep. that Champions League run. Yep. Royce kind of, I know he didn't play a lot, but you can't end, underestimate his ability. And they lose Fulkrug. Oh! They lose your boy Fulkrug, oh, mate. how to forget. They lose Fulkrug. Not the greatest striker so, in history. Oh, and uh, obviously the coach has left as well. They got that in a, was a, an, so they got in an unknown sign si- who we don't know I how they're going to play. What the fuck yeah. happened there? Yeah, we don't know how they're going to play. Who offended who? If he was still there, it'd probably be a B plus A minus. Yeah. But oh, okay, I've been yeah. But yeah, I'm losing yeah. Things. My back end. I thought yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it probably is a B, isn't it? Yeah, I've got an A. That's rubbish. Um, Marseille. Uh, I went A minus. Yeah, A minus as well. Yeah, yeah. De Zerbi signed a couple of experienced players like Hoybier. Yeah. Uh, they got Greenwood in, which is just a brilliant get. Yeah, he's gonna, he could, he could win Liga and Player of the Season. I honestly, think he, I think he, yeah, he, 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 he could, he could generally yeah. walk it. Yeah. Um, they lose Saar to Palace. Yeah, that was the one that took. That it was off the me. one that took it off. Yeah. Um, I think a, a Yang left, which is kind of whatever. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't matter. Probably his hairline um, Get rid of them wages, but yeah, <laughs> would have been a would have been probably an A plus to be honest. But I think Sars a I a big bit of a loss. Yeah, yeah. I think they got oh, decent oh. money for him, but still he's twenty odd plus. Yeah, yeah. I would have loved to see Sar and Greenwood. Yeah, that would have been really nice. interesting. But yeah, still a still a very good uh, very solid window. Very good window. Um, and ruling goal is a good get as well for yeah, Staffel yeah, as yeah, well from yeah. PSV, I think. Uh, and then PSG. Mm. Uh, I went D. Wow. I okay. went D. I did. I did go C. I went D because I didn't really change much, but you bring in John Evers, Pacho, brilliant. You bring in that left winger, the do do Ray do the other day, yeah, yeah, from Rene, yeah. I think. <clears throat> but they've lost a shit ton of players, by the way. <laughs> they've lost yeah, Terrier. They lost the the centre back, the young centre back, and, and the <laughs> <kid>. <laughs> they're losing everyone. Um, but I mean, you lose Eka TK to Frankfurt. You lose Mbappe, strange, strange arguably the best player in the world. On a free. Yeah, okay, yeah. And there's well. no news on Osserman or anything. And it just, there's just nothing that really excites me besides the partnership of Neves and Zero Emery. That's going to cook. Yeah. So I went, that's, that's, yeah, I said D, a, maybe C minus. Yeah, you have lost arguably the best player in the world for nothing. For nothing. <laughs> and you've basically just swapped centre backs and lost yeah. thirty mil, uh, lost ten million, yeah, or twenty million. How much did Ekatika go for? Twenty or thirty? I think it was seventeen. I think they got for, for nothing. So, so they've give they've gotten a centre back from Frankfurt for forty and given them a player for yeah. 20. And how many centre backs have they signed? And none of them have, none of them have elevated work. them. Yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. So yeah very right. I, think I, you've I went D. Yeah. yeah, C is probably way too high for them. I just like Joe Neves. Yeah, that's a great. That was that was the only reason it was made. A lot of money, but, but player. Yeah. Yep. There we go. That's that. Uh, that was good fun. That was oh, very I, good. I enjoyed that. Thank you. Smashed that one out of the park there. Um, uh, besides AC Milan, <laughs> I think I was way too nice on them. Just, just, yeah. just loves the city of Milan. You know, I, you know, in Milan. Yeah. If you want to just fly them out, <laughs> <for it. laughs> whenever, whenever, whenever I'll do a vlog. You know, yeah, I'll, I'll gladly you go to San Siro and yeah, I'll happily see the lads go and play. <laughs> um, there we go. It's going to be hard each week to keep this short. We've got a little bit longer this week. 
But hopefully you guys, right. you guys was, like viewing that the mid-day. Mid yeah, that, so. that was a, a worthy... A worthy, yeah, yeah. Le lengthened yeah. podcast. Oh, I'm was, sure come middle season we'll be... Like, oh, bro. Pulling it's, at strings. It's going to be hard to keep it an hour 15 like we want. Because there's just so much to talk about. And obviously we love cooking with our lists, so... Yeah, the, the people there, wanna, there the is people literally a list every week, I think, I've planned for this season. Or at least a combined I think we've got to keep it that way. Yeah, I think, yeah. keep it entertaining. Yeah. For, something something like. a bit different. Exactly. I like it. Bundesliga is back next week. I can't Sorry. wait to be honest. Don't remind me. The, we, I have a soft spot for that league. I, I, I really like the league. Yeah. So the Bundesliga is back. So much to talk about. Um, I think it's a quieter week in the league. Serie A, I think it's going to be another big fall. I think it's going to be a big watch for the first few weeks with the big teams, yeah. how they go. Yep. Um, and I think we'll have some more tra no transfers. Let's hold for a little bit until the end of the transfer. Let me do some like combined transfer. Left there might be that. some big deals to talk about. We might have some stuff to talk um, about as well. But I think well, I'd, I'd like to week. hope there would be some big deals. There's still hopefully Liverpool makes some signings. It'd be nice. Still got ten days left. Hopefully, has held the jersey up in front of Old Trafford. Yeah. Gone off. That'll be at uh, in two weeks when we play you at Old Trafford. That'll be him. <gasps> a bold classic. Uh, <laughs> a bold you, classic. You are available. I should be. We if should, I'm not working. We should, yeah, should have yeah. a watch along, the first like group watch along, because I'll be doing a Sunday kickoff this week. Will it be all, all four of us? Do um, we get, no, we might get another Liverpool fan instead of. We'll actually. Yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> He's going to get overloaded here. <laughs> we'll bring like the scarves. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'll be exciting. The ball, first ever ball class. Oh, have we got it on the weekend. First ball classica. One nil to Pep. No oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We've no, got promise. eight of them due this season because we've got four ball managers. Oh, so yeah, bro. This couple ball classicos going about. Ball classico is going to go mad. Oh, I'm going to get a table, a ball classico table. We'll see how they all rank up. <laughs> Gun season there. We'll have it. The bottom, the three whoever, whoever finishes last is uh, on the Ford watch. Yeah, right they'll work in Ford watch. They'll be here. We'll have to wait and see. Um, with that being said, ladies and gents, that's this week done. Um, make sure like, comment, subscribe on the road to 1k. Getting closer. Getting there. Come on. Getting closer. Come on. Um, what else want you to do? Five stars, Spotify, five stars. A K podcast. before the bold classico. Oh, a K on the bold classico. We can as well. on the bold classico. <laughs> I'll put a swimming cap on if he had a K before the bold classico. I'll sit here in the light with a bold cap on and look at what it's That would like be elite. Um, yeah. yeah, like, comment, subscribe, five stars, Spotify, Apple Podcasts. Prediction video for the Premier League comes out tonight. Um, the weekend work comes out tomorrow morning. Um, and until next Thursday, we'll see you guys then. Gotcha. See you later, guys.